Welcome everyone. We are back. Another Super Millions. It is season 2023, episode six. You guys know this man, Jungle Man, Dan Cates, joins us today. Dan, how are you? What's up? Hey, there's a lot is up. We're playing for big money. This is a five million guaranteed, a little extra than normal. 10K buy in, five million guaranteed. A lot of big names, a lot of big stacks, over a million dollars to first. We're going to dive into the action here very shortly, but Dan, you were just traveling the world. Uh, tell us a little bit about before we dive into the poker, the fun, going for all the money. Uh, what have you been up to? You got your podcast. You've been traveling the world. Give me, give me, give me a little something. What's going on in your life? A lot of things, dude. <laughs> Too much is going on. Uh, this is kind of my problem. Is I keep adding more and more, and and at some point, uh, it just gives. I I did a couple of interviews lately. I was in. I saw the Aurora Borealis. Uh, massive Aurora Borealis in Finland. I did some snowboarding. Uh, what else? I get in, I'm focusing back on poker and some poker business, some poker business things coming up. Um, I'm thinking of uh, launching, uh, being, bringing a, a big staking company for smaller stakes players, um, that kind of thing. I think that'll be really exciting. Uh, I love it. Well, I, listen, it's going to work. Dan, we're going to be, we got, we're got a full final table here. I'm going to be asking a lot of questions and more, of course, analysis. But guys, let's dive into the action. Let's see who's going to beat the best. Let's have a big show today. $5 million up for the prize pool was guaranteed. And you can look at the Super Millions, the rankings, the Super Rankings for the season so far. There's a look at your top of the leaderboard. Of course, big prize is going to be awarded and a lot of fun and prestige that comes with that. And this was a $7,760,000 prize pool absolutely crazy for a 10k buy-in uh very special today and of course the the prize 1.184 million 913,000 a second a lot to play for 544,000 for four so we got everyone guaranteed six figures nine handed remain and this is a juiced up very special edition final table so we will dive in and, and dan i'm very curious if you've played with some of these players if you know much about them and either way we're going to be calling the action and having ourselves an amazing final table 776 entries pretty impressive to make it to the final table but of course the title the prestige and all that money seven figures awaits our winner so we are going to dive in here into the look of the table nine big lines for the short stack 128 blinds for pedro the brazilian man brazil another brazil we got javier rocking the flag i believe he's from portugal but some uh, some very talented players in brazil these days very very impressive country over the last few years seems to be yeah, rising and yeah let's get in there you know yeah let's, let's get after it this is this is a this is tournament i know you've been playing playing cash games and you like tournaments you're playing some trading events but this is this is this is where it's at this is the the, the marquee event online poker 10k buy-in again every sunday and then the tuesday super millions we're here with you guys calling the action appreciate everyone being here and let's dive in and see who will beat the best today we are going to take you to the future final table and get a look at our chip leader there and under the gun he has got the ace jack 25 million chips i mean look at look at around he has got a very healthy lead and the shortest stack some uh some very short stacks below there 2 million 1.6 million and he is in, in good shape what stands out for you here dan at this table with the stacks and and what's happening what, what are you looking at if you're if you're a short stack or big stack give me a little strategy tips here um if I'm uh, well, you gotta look at the pay jumps too. That's one first thing I'm thinking. But probably, I, I would think if I'm a recreatine mode or Zhao, I'd be ready to gamble and make some moves. Yeah. Um, are there any big discrepancies? Yeah, like this Pedro dude you can probably bust some moves because there's some people. There's a bunch of middling stacks that don't want to mess around too much with these blinds. You got eight blind stack twenty. 11 blind stack if i was these other guys i'd probably be knitting it up a little bit or be a bit on the cautious side well other than that what, huh this is this is this could be this pedro a very good player simon Matson, one of the world-class online players absolute crusher and look at pedro already wheel spinning he's got a lot of chips can put pressure on a middling type stack here he may he may he's got got some plans he just flats he does flop a flush draw but simon the best hand and this poker is, aces this, on the button this could be a this could get ugly this could get ugly i i i would say i was about to say like i would not make a move with six two suited it's just too ridiculous um but 
The aces, yeah, I mean, Simon had a great spot. Pedro could have busted a move. And and it's a bad spot because Pedro, he should know that Pedro can bust a move. And now if he's got, like, the ace of clubs or something, he could lose quite a lot. But we'll see what happens. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, whoa. Uh, this could get real spicy. To be fair, in if... This Pedro dude does raise. He should for sure be raising the turn because it's going to be really hard for Simon to like find some kind of crazy bluff here. Um, and he's probably going to bet too. So Pedro's smart. He should be raising this turn. He's got to take the aggressive initiative on the turn for sure. And if, if he does, okay, so lead is probably the second best option, but Okay, I, I I actually kind of like it. I like it, even though it probably is not GTO. Um, I actually think this is interesting because because Simon bets so small on the flop, Pedro could have some weird stuff. Now, if I'm in Simon's shoes, I'm always calling here, and I'm sitting here thinking, what does this guy have? I got the ace of clubs. I think if he's bluffing, he's got the ace of clubs. And or likely got the ace of clubs, like ace seven, the ace of clubs maybe, something like that. Or maybe like some kind of king. Okay. But since he's got the ace of clubs, it now looks like most of Pedro's bluffs are gone. And so if I was Simon, I would not be hero calling in this spot. And it's very unusual bluff. Simon should um, lead again. Yeah, for sure. For sure. If, if Simon, or I mean, uh, Pedro should lead again. If Simon, uh, even, even if Simon had like a nine, I think he should check behind instead of bet in the spot it's gonna i think he's gonna go big too it's actually he, his opponent could definitely yeah he goes for the whole this, enchilada this is, no, this, i mean this, this yeah. is a bad bet yeah you should bet you should bet smaller it's impossible for simon to call here basically um like it wait no this is just i, I really don't like the size uh I, I really don't like the size because Let's see, see if I can explain why. Because first of all, Simon has flushes, like quite a few, in fact, and he definitely has straights. And um, it's just like impossible for Simon to make a hero. It's going to be very hard for him to make this guy to make a hero call. Period. And now he can hear make a hero fold with a straight, thinking like, okay, how is this guy going to shove here effectively with bluffs? I mean, it's a very hard bluff to make as well. I mean, it's not that easy to find bluffs and like the other guy's range has all kinds of nuts in there it's just yeah and um a good raise by pedro i think again no one really people are not going to want to screw with him he's got to pick the aggressive initiative uh on the whole yeah no i i actually i agree you're right on that river maybe just it was a little greedy what can you get called by and maybe you're even even beat possibly but interesting interesting he went for the full amount and a nice fold from Simon. I mean, obviously, as you pointed out, it's not like a crazy fold, but not everyone would fold. I think uh, you should, but definitely, uh, definitely a world class player is not going to make many mistakes. I actually see a question in the chat here from Bo Bachton. Yes, my my son did arrive. Our son Amelia gave birth, and pretty crazy. A little bit tired. Glad it was it was last week. Actually, we had the the week off for Super Million, so it was Monday very late at night. So it's been a, a sleepless week, but very excited to announce James. So Brea Gross did arrive, so I'm I'm feeling you know oh, I'm, okay. I'm 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 fired up about him. Very very happy. It's a it's a great feeling and uh, does did arrive. So thank you for checking. And yes, did have did have the the baby. So yeah, put some pictures up and just kind of been catching up on a lot of things. But uh, yeah, congratulations. Feels good. Feels good. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yes, uh, that's exciting. And here we are seeing a exciting pot going to develop. Look at this, Simon. This time with the Queen King. Pretty nice four bet candidate hand in this situation versus the chip leader. But do you do you make it? Do you, do you go for this, John? What would you do here, Dan? I would uh, fold, but um, you know it would be interesting to take a look again at the EV of shoving um, at GTO with King Queen because if it's close, I might shove. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, actually, actually. He look, Pedro seems a little, he could be a little move heavy there. I would say if, if Simon is opening wide, then that play is good. But I'm thinking if Simon is playing properly, that I don't like that play. 
Um, it, yeah, it is nine handed extreme ICM situation, of course, especially in a, a million to first nine left 140 thousand odd dollars and 1.1 million up top so about a million between ninth and first so it is it is intense and here we go tens flatting versus the under the gun austrian player here with ace queen suited so a couple real real hands and a, a very interesting flop there's one you don't see every day a surprising fold by it, it it probably is correct by recreating mode or i don't know i guess it's definitely it probably is correct by the guess ace nine offsuit um, very close, well, weird spot. Yeah, it must be a fold. East 10, I would not fold, man. Like, no fucking way. Is this PG, PG 13? It's all right. Hey, motion, it's a million dollars up top. You're allowed to do, allowed to, allowed to do whatever you like here. And they, within reason, within reason, Dan, I want to, I don't want to give the full governor, but yes, that, that is, uh, that was, that would be a tough decision. And as we see here, ace, queen suited versus 10 is uncomfortable. You got a strong hand, but you're out of position. You can't love it. A lot of pairs. I don't play. think I love this Babsy's check on the flop. I, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like this. I mean, this bet's whatever, really. I think I would do something weird. I think I would bet, like, a bigger size. It's the GTO is a little bit larger than usual. It's larger than that. I can tell you that. Um, it's whatever, though. Yeah, it's just whatever. I, I would have probably bet, but it's cool. I just think, what I think is that because of the ICM stuff, this Babsy dude should be really tight and therefore has quite a strong range advantage on this board, even more than usual. Even it's a deceptive situation in that, you know, normally the other guy's range may be, you could say, stronger, but he doesn't have as many nuts as you do. So it's a little weird. And so you have to bet bigger on this flop um but in this situation you should be tighter pre-flop ideally really do me tighten it up and so you should be able to blast it a little bit um on this flop as annoying as it would be but i do think probably it works out pretty well in your favor in this spot i think also page is going to really want to fast play a lot pre-flop and not slow play exactly for this reason because it's very hard to like run some massive bluffs at the final table. It's not really when they're in spots where it's tough to uh, when it's tough to uh, when it's tough to uh, excuse me, I lost my train of thought. When it's tough to uh, just tough to do it. Yeah, that, I, I was curious if he was going to value bet that river with 10. I mean, it's pretty, he's high up in the range. It is against under the gun, right? Do you get called by, what are you getting called by there? I don't think there's many low pairs in this I see this environment that he's opening. He's not opening sixes, fives, fours, threes, twos. So is he going to hero call you with ace, queen, or nines? You know, maybe there's a few hands. So I, I wasn't sure what he was going to do there. What, what do you think about the check back on the river? No, he's got a bet, but he, was, he didn't miss anything. He's got a bet for sure. Yeah, His check yeah. is too insane. He's got to bet yeah. some obnoxious price or whatever. His tens right. is way too big. The tens is like way bigger than he's supposed to have. Right. Yeah, as well. And I just, I guess that's the thing though. He's not really going to get raised there ever. So, and it's unlikely he's not good. So, yeah, I think, I think uh, uh, that, that was definitely seemed a little bit conservative. But look, he's the chip leader. He's got 31 mil and he is in the driver's seat picking up pots and a good start for our chip leader. How about we do a little snake draft? I got a giveaway for the audience, of course, 50 or hundred dollars. We'll, we'll, we'll give you guys a few players to sweat for the hundred and, and let's play red or black and we'll do a snake draft. How about for a nice dinner in Vegas or Miami? John, you up for that? We each pick. We'll, yeah, we'll yeah, do, I'm up for that. You're, you're in for a little, I know you like a little action in your life. So let's uh, do it. You pick red or black next, next card. Okay. Next flop. I should say. I think red's running hot. I'm gonna pick red. Ooh, that was a check back with a set. Is that what happened? That's kind of yeah. spicy. Little, that's little, little that's little. spicy. I don't know. That's real spicy. A little deception there. A little pot control deception. Got a lot going on. I mean, it's also pretty short stack. They both have about five million. Two of the shorter ish stacks. Maybe a little bit too cute, but now he's gonna start betting. King Queen suited. Not many cards that would fill in nicely for Simon, let's see if he releases or he is interested. I can't imagine continuing. He does fold. 
Nice pop for Ignacio there. We're going to look at the next flop, and we are going to be talking about hands up as well, guys. There is a jackpot progressive every week. You can guess the winning hand for today. So let's say king, queen of hearts. You guess specifically the suits. If you get it right, you win the jackpot. That has gone up every week. I do not believe anyone has hit it. So it's getting juicy. That is a pinned message in the YouTube chat that, pop that, that pops throughout the stream. So you can check that out and guess which hand you think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with ace of hearts, ten of clubs today. That's what I believe is the winning hand. But you got to put it in if you want to win the jackpot. You got to submit it via the link. And we still didn't get a flop. So you got red. I got black. See the next flop. And sixes for Pedro. What would be the minimum opening hand just in the jungle world the jungle calculator the beautiful mind what's uh how light are you opening if you're pedro with that stack in this situation and i guess this king 10 suited might be okay uh man i'd probably real spice it up big time man i'd probably this this spot at uh i mean i would experiment a little bit i like think most kings no maybe even all the kings king x suited uh <laughs> The King X suited aren't bad. Like some queen, queen seven suited stuff. Some spice. Wow. wow. And, 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 what about, what about the Ignacio? Three bet under the gun. Okay, it's chip leader. He's going to be wide. But to three bet under the gun plus one with everyone behind you and your stack, King 10 suited. I mean, is that insane? Or is he just saying, like, he looks so strong? Like, what do you what do you think on that? That does not seem conventional. Um, Might be okay. I don't know. It's probably, I don't know. It's, uh, I don't think it's GTO. He's probably supposed to three bet a bit tighter than that. Like King Jack suited or King Queen suited or something. Like this is where uh, I'm not really an expert in it. And I mean, it could exploitatively be good. Good limp by Duco. Of course, he has 10 nines, so who cares? The flop is black, correct? Is this our first flop, or did we see a flop last hand? First flop, right? Did we, uh, what did was we the last say hand? color? You said red, but I'm trying to think if we did we just see. Oh, a I flop? said red, I lose. It's black. Okay, but I didn't know if we missed a flop, but yes, that is, I don't believe we no. did. First flop. That's a big one because I'm going to go with my man. You know, I love Brazilians. You know, I'm biased, Jungle. I got my wife, my son's half Brazilian, my two boys now. So I'm, I'm going to go. I, I got to go with it. It's not a hard pick today. Pedro, I get, I get that guy. You get two. You get to choose two picks now, though. We go one, two, one, 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 one. What's with this guy's bet on the turn? What the fuck's he doing? Wow, it works, too. Maybe maybe he's on to some next level stuff. Like, <laughs> I, I don't. I, I mean, I think this bet on the turn is, is crazy. Like, no, man. There's no way. The guy can have bluff, too. It worked out, though. Yeah, am I wrong? I mean, I don't think I'm wrong. Yeah, that is... Uh, that was... Hey, my, Pedro's on fire. He's he's on fire. He's gone thin in spots. He's gone, he's gone light. But you got two picks. Who are you, who are you going with here today? Oh, you pick your... Oh, you picked your first. Well, I'm going to pick... Um, let's see. I'm going to pick Duco Haven. I think he's a fan of mine, and he beat me the other day. I got to pick Duco Haven for sure. Okay. Uh, it's your turn, right to pick. You get two. We goes one first pick, then you get second, third, then I get, then we go one, one, the rest. So you get. I'm two. gonna pick. I think I'm gonna pick. Well, I, I can pick now, right? I'm gonna pick Ignacio. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, going for a, uh, I think he's the next best player, and I think. I think he's got a set. I'm pretty sure he's got a set. That is, uh, that is, oh, why do you do this? This is silly. This is silly. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Interesting, interesting check raise. Yeah, I can't, I don't think his opponents it's not so bad. To get check raised on this board. There's not many check raises, and he's actually so high up in the range, it's crazy. Let's his opponent off the hook there. I got to go Simon Matson, yeah. one of the best to ever do it, online poker players. He's been I'm, I'm going with lately. Simon. And then you get you get now your turn. So we got two, two a piece right now. Oh, oh, I was confused. I mean, I'm going to pick Ignacio. You got him. So you got Ignacio and you got Duco. I got Pedro and Simon, and now it's your pick. Ooh, hold on. Hold that thought. 8-5 goes for the goes for the the ram and look at the nines this is i mean you'd rather have nines than ace king oh. here right 
Bro, 8-5 offsuit is no good, dude. I don't think so, man. <laughs> I don't think so, wow. dude. Wow, Spice. He saw Jungle was on the coat. I'm not, look at what? that. All right, I changed my mind. Now it's great. This man folded two nines, please. Wow. Oh man, like isn't it? Wait, the pay jumps aren't that big. Come on, like what's the next pay jump? It's 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 real money. It's buy-ins. I mean, look. I mean, I think you, you people make you get. It's it's the maybe not the next jump, but what about four jumps or five? You get half a million for top four. It's big money jungle. I mean, Wait. I know you know you played for some of the biggest stakes in the world, but. Listen, I, most of us, myself included, I'm pumped up. A million up top, that'll that'll get the blood flowing. What a what a fold. Let's see how that works out. Here we'll probably see the slam on Ignacio. Let's see, he's got the yeah. It seems like a pretty nice spot, little different scenario, and a stack that does not want to be calling off. So fist pump, shove tens, fold nines. Interesting, interesting spot. Who do you got, Joe? Your pick. We got two 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 people each right now. Um, are you picking a third? You're, you get your third now. Oh, I'll pick Corona. Okay, okay. very nice. I am going to go with uh, Lyandowski. I'm going to go with him. He folded the nines, a little conservative, but I, I think he might get it done. That's just my that's my feeling today, so I'm going to pick so him. It really matters a lot. So what is the next, what is the pay jump after this prize? What is the pay jump from this prize to the next couple it's Couple. lower right of the screen there. I believe it says 180,000. It's a little blurry for me where how it's showing up because of. So it's 149 to 180. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he's got a call. Like, what's the top prize? 1.1. 1. Almost 1.2. I'm not an expert in these things. Like, this is the kind of thing I really I feel like I should know, but I feel like, man, this guy's got a call for what? Like a 20% increase, I guess. <laughs> Uh, like and the, the, he's still he needs chips also to like there's not many better spots than that or some dude just jams and you got like nines of the big line like i don't know maybe maybe i'm wrong but i'd be surprised nines is fucking good dude yeah i mean that is that was i was a little surprised but dude, you got a lot of in the chat like this is why i love poker so much right like we got one of the greatest poker player minds of all time he's played tournaments won big tournaments you've you've you're more of a cash game guy but still like to have you not sure or that how people are just kind of on the fence or depending is why i love poker so much there's so much to debate on any given day any given situation we see a lot of similar situations but that was uh I, i'd be curious to run that i think it is better to have nines there than um it is better to have a pair like eights or nines than ace queen or ace king for that exact reason you have sometimes players will shove a spot like that right if you call it ace king ace queen suited and he's got eight five off it's a little less exciting but when you got nines against ace five eight uh, a random two undercards it's a pretty good spot so very interesting hand we're, we're off to some exciting exciting play today jung we're gonna we, we got we got ourselves a we got ourselves a game today. And who do you who do you got? Who's your next pick? You took Corona. I took uh, I'm pronouncing it wrong, but we'll call it Lubo. I'm taking Lubo. I want to play with a little bit of spice. Maybe 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 I'm too into the spice. If we're really honest, I, there's a chance I'm too into the spice for these things. That's what's kills me. But I feel like some we're, it's for the win, right? For the win, you need the spice. You need yeah. some spice to win. But to make the most money, you need less spice usually. To make like, let's put, let's put it this way: to go big, you need the you need the spice for sure. But to like do a little bit more reliably solid, you need you need um, to do reliably solid. You need less spice. You need to be air on the conservative side. So I need I need a player with some spice. Who's got, who's the spiciest? You got a. Uh, Nah, man. I want the spiciest player just for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna pick Zhao Vera just for the spice. Okay, I'm. I'm. Wow. I'm. Uh... That felt personal. You know, I love Brazil, and and he's and he's a world class. You're going, you're going to the six blind. I mean, that is an unconventional play, but Jungle's got it's some it's, unconventionalness. It's and spice. I'm, I'm, that is. <laughs> That is a spice play of the day. I need a spice cam. You should get a sponsor for Old Spice. That was it right there. You watched it a live spice play. Um, and he's got Queen King suited. He's gonna either. Oh man, he's in trouble though. He's looking in a lot of trouble. This is the the short I guess you're are picking looking Babs, you're right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going Babs. Yeah, that'll be that. Then we need to have a 
Yeah, I got Babs. Go do Babs. I have this guy? <laughs> yeah, I'll give him to you. I'll throw it in there for into the mix. Oh, I got this there. one. I got the I got the extra spice. I got the the guy with three big blinds is about to bust. I love it. I love it. I love it. This hey, is, do I have an echo? Uh, I don't. I'm not hearing that. Is it? Is the chat? What are they thinking? Bad echo. Maybe people. Is that? That's his name's Jeff Bezos. It could be a troll. You know what I mean? He's, he could be messing with you. I don't hear anyone else saying it. Weird oh, troll. audio is really bad. It says someone else said it. Uh, maybe your speakers are on jungle. Yeah. How do I turn them off? Hmm. That's a good question. Wait, not that. Uh, oh, I have an idea. Are we speaking through this this Chrome thing or through this other thing? So you should mute the VMix. I think is that might be the, 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 the how's this? Guys, give a second on the echo. How's let's this? See. I'm testing right now. We're testing it. Well, audience, let's see. Now it's good. They say. Oh shit. Oh, God. oh, wait, wait. Corona's your dude. No, he's my dude. Shit. Uh, ace six to kings. We saw an ace is gone, but he actually getting a lot. Oh, diamonds, though. He is almost flipping. Needs help. Oh, man. And Very there good. is a river. Oh, it is a diamond. And he <laughs> is, he is I, yeah, I mean, he's in, right? That's, that's safe. It's a, it's a, it's not a, not a boat. There's no boat around, and he is just using a one-time. That is a good time for a one-time. That was a good play, too, by Corona. That was a good play. I don't know. I'm not feeling Pedro right now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Echo's gone. Jungle, you fixed it. You're, you, he's a podcast host winning the game of life. You guys should check it out. I've been on. Jungle's been on my podcast twice. And we are... We are literally here still nine handed with that. That is a big, big hand for a recreative mood. I gotta give the audience I gotta give the audience some some uh, some picks today. So let's give them the chip leader. It's gonna be for hundred. You're gonna get fifty no matter what. A giveaway at the end of the show. Could be hundred. We'll give Pedro, we'll give Jao, we'll give him Team Brazil, Duco as well, Simon Matson. That feels right. That's just off the top of my head. We're gonna give you guys those four. We'll throw in the chip the the short stack who just Hit like a triple plus up, maybe a quad X. So we'll give you guys the recreative as well. So it'll be five. And this is going to be for $1,500. And of course, the hands up promo we did say is pinned as well. This is going to be a big, big final table, big payouts and three hands here under the gun, small blind flat with ace 10 suited. What kind of curious there, Jungle? What do you think? Give me, give it to me. What do you think? Um, Which one? The flat with ace, or he rated, oh, it was ace 10 suited. He took it, ends up taking it down there under the gun. Man. Ignacio, Ignacio must be so out of line. These players have reads on him. I mean, they're four betting sixes on the, the under the gun plus one three bet, getting played back at under the gun. Ignacio's got, got, got the Mexican flag there. He is a, he's been getting played back at. So it is, man, interesting, a very interesting start to the final table. No knockouts so far, half hour in. Hope everyone's enjoying. Let us know where you're watching from. And we are going to have special, again, giveaways for you today, $50 or $100. And Jungle and I got a nice dinner bet as well. And, man, Jungle, what do you think? Are any tournaments in your future? Are you going to play at the World Series? You're the back-to-back. -back. You won the 50K Players Championship twice. What is your WSOP plans this year? Oh, I'm, I'm going to uh, – I got to be the one to do the three-peat. There's got to be wow. There's got to be someone to do the three-peat. Three-peat. That is – that is uh, quite a call. That would be impressive. I don't think that has ever been done in the same event. I think once exactly someone's got to be the guy to do it. Someone's got to be the one to do it. I should say. That is that is true. Got to be got to be politically correct, and that is that is uh, that is true. It's possible. It's hard to do, yeah, and this is going to be correct. hard. This is going to be hard for the short stack. He just dodged a six suited to kings. Got the diamond on the river. Now he's short with ace queen. Pretty premium hand in the nightmare scenario. You're you're pipped. And I don't know. I don't think you're folding ace queen off off this stack size, even though you don't love it. Close. Still has ten blinds. Just 
Bill has 10 blinds. Let's see. Is he could he find a fold here, Dan? No, he can't. Ace Queen, Ace King, cards on their back. Gonna see five here. Flops the gut shot. Ace King still in the lead. And that is running out of daylight. We might see our first knockout of the day. And that is not a 10 to chop. He is going to be eliminated there. Got a little bit of a false hope getting that diamond on the river. Ignacio going to take down that pot. And jungle, nice, nice start for you and your 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 guys. Gets a knockout, 8.7 million. They knocked on each other, right? Well, the better player got probably the better player. He's, Ignacio is supposed to be quite good. Um, looks like we're going to see an all-in here, though. Brazil is going to be some... But it's a good spot. I mean, Ignacio should jam. Uh, oh, the, the jump, the payout, the jump was like $43,000. But um, let's see, the next one is 57. I mean, like, w w what spot does a guy want? Like, I mean, yeah, I guess there's... Pretty heavy ICM. I, I really should know this stuff. I, I just wouldn't fold nines, but maybe I'm wrong. There's a chance I'm wrong. I, I would fold like. I hate making those spots. I'd probably fold like Ace Jack. Queen King, 10 Jack. We're going to see a three diamond flop. Queen King, quite the flop here, has got the top pair with the second nut flush draw. And there it is. Y'all going to be all in and needing a lot of help needs a 10 or a jack that is not a diamonds 90 percent favor going to the river 2.8 million might see back-to-back -back knockouts in short order and it is i believe gg i think what is that a three of hearts on the river so there's your guy there's your there's your spice play jow is out it is down to seven pay jumps going up and hey. man, there's <laughs> there's ignacio though ignacio's on a tear Ignacio is on fire right now. This is a, this is, this is a, this is, this is shaping up. Pedro has got to a great start. Duco sitting on 10 mil and there is some very short stacks. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out as the big stack can really put a lot of pressure. Seven left. And here we go. All in. Eight, nine off. Okay. Two fives. Pedro certainly going to be playing. A wide variety, definitely a wired pair there going to open up. No one really has much. I mean, it's a very interesting distribution right now. There really is a huge gap for Pedro. He got away with that 8-5 shove. If he got called by nines, likely would have doubled that player up, would have seen a different situation. But as it stands, I mean, if he's getting away with that, things are sort of just going his way. $35 million at the moment. No one even close. Three and a half times what second has so he is in a very very good position huge favorite pedro at the moment seven-handed michael green you looked actually who's that someone in the chat says he actually looked i don't know if i believe him though actually looked at what for that spot with the nines that seems unbelievable. This dude folding snap six, uh, six six in the one spot. I could see that. That seems very reasonable. This King Simon guy, yeah. Ace King, pretty pretty standard, nice. Spot to get. It's always nice when you don't get called to. Just uncontested pot. Picks it up. 11.5 million. Duco Haven. Rocking the Dutch flag. Off to a really good start as well. Sitting in second, essentially, with Ignacio. This one I wouldn't fold. I, um... I was Babs, I would raise. Yeah. And then if I was Simon, I would... What would I do if I was Simon? Probably go all in. Whoa, he folded? Nines, what? man, Dan, you might have to revisit your tourney, tourney game. We might be missing something here. Nines are 
if you in the muck something. several times. What the fuck? That seems crazy, dude. This that seems crazy. One second. Yeah, anyone at home? Anyone plugging it in? There's a lot of ways to study review, see what's happening. I mean, there's some interesting ones in here as well. Ace eight off, pretty uncomfortable spot where you just feel like you're going to get it through. He does go for it. And Pedro, this is sort of on the cutoff of like, you're like going to get so much folds. Do you really like want to call off? Direction. Oh, well, no, not really. No, it's not because this dude's opening. <sighs> That, but this is like opposite to the calling with the nines. I mean, now the page jumps. Now there's more at risk, right? Now, now it's like a seventy thousand dollar jump. Um, and yeah, I just don't know how you can justify this play and not call the nines before. Like, Maybe is it because I, 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 but I think also like a function of it is the shortest stacks. There was like a six hundred k stack, a one point two million stack. Now. His risk premium sort of is 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 the lowest, right? Like if he goes out, it's not as big a deal. There's another two guys similarly short, but the other time he's gonna go out ninth, lose himself. Maybe he figures a hundred thousand, whatever the between ninth and seventh, sort of some guaranteed money is maybe the thought process there. But yeah, maybe yeah, maybe you're right. right. It could be right. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, that's why it's fun, right? There's different. You know, I know I know jungle's not folding. You're not folding nines in that scenario. With those no, but I could be wrong. I would just do whatever's right. I, it's just, uh, yeah, not. I, I mean, I, I really should check because maybe I'm wrong. I I've got an opinion on that, Charlie. If I'm really honest, I think if if I'm really honest, I think GG should change it. They need to keep the dream alive. I think they're squeezing people too much sometimes. If I'm if I'm honest, uh, that's just my opinion. But you know, GG can do whatever they want. It's it's their their decisions. It shouldn't be close to unbeatable. If it's beatable, then okay. If the if decent amount of people can beat it, I'm not sure how to define how many. That's my that's just my opinion. Yeah, I want to welcome everyone in the audience today. Thank you for joining. Your host Jeff Gross, joined by Dan Jungleman Cates. And we are going to play to a winner today. Of course, the payouts lower right. Huge 5 million guaranteed Super Millions 2023. This is episode number six and some world-class players. And we're going to see a very, very strong performance from Pedro. Came in chip leader has extended his chip lead as well with a very nice spot at the moment. And he has got it all working. He's getting walks, getting the A5 button shove, getting nines to fold in the big blind. I mean, he's he's really kind of had a field day thus far. Obviously, a lot of poker left, but really things working out for him at, as we see it. And some really short stacks. So it'll be interesting if he can keep the pressure on and just keep separating himself from the field. Oh. But by, by the way, Peter, the games in GG are beatable. I just think, I just think that the, it's important for the dream to be alive, even for the bottom line and for the good of poker, for absolute sure. Because that's why people play. They keep play to be able to travel and be free and that kind of thing. It's just that's why I'm, I think it's important. I think it's a, a hidden but very large undercurrent of why there's so much action because they make money. That's all. Um, but the games are beatable, but you need to be smart about it. Let's move on. Let's move on. Ace queen suited opening queen six suited. Pedro likes to play hands. This is a bit out of line. Although one of the stacks you can put the most pressure on, right? Maybe queen six suited just a little too crazy, but Simon, uh, Lido, let's call him. There's three. Oh, wow. There he goes. He's just, he's, he's taking, he's taking all the spots here. Jungle. He's really taking it didn't value bet tens was one spot we were a little surprised about but he is pre-flop willing to go for some light light pressure to put pressure on i don't think i like this this just became a bad play after that shove but what i mean it by that is not because in the moment it's a bad play but because clearly corona is sitting there thinking this guy's messing around um yeah that play is an exploit of course and it can only work if Corona one opens quite tight and two, two doesn't jam things like that. Like he's open the, tight, I mean, three bet light, open tight, three bet tight. Yeah, I, 
I think you're right. That's that's there's a perception that's very important, very important what you're perceived at the table. Definitely Pedro is is gonna going to be looked at as a little out of line at the moment. Of course, people on the delay, they're not getting to see so far what he's been up to for, for all the hands, but still like he's, he's definitely playing a lot of hands and, and he has shown down some, uh, some, some interesting ones thus far. Let me ask you a question. What do you think is harder right now in the world of poker? Do you think it'd be harder to, to be online or live? If you were, if you were to say like, which is, uh, or which, which, which do you have more respect for like a live tournament player or an online tournament player? Who do you think stronger? Or, or, I'm a little or... bit surprised by Ignatius fold with uh, five five. Um, I'm a little bit surprised by that. To be clear, in uh, yeah, I uh, think that you know I've been thinking about this. I I don't know. I have to do some research on what the games look like online because it's quite scary with the competition and the level of. Uh, you know, level of, of, how do you say, level of, um, it's quite scary with the, with the level of competition and all the level of the software out there that's going on. Yeah. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of, uh, it's, so it's, 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 I, it's, it's tough. It is tough, but there's there's I a think... lot of great games, I and mean, the tournaments seem tournaments seem healthier than ever, live and online. It seems like huge prizes, huge purse. Poker seems to be really booming. Here's what I think. I think live is more easily beatable, but if you do your work and your research, um, that that online will make you more money eventually if you do it in a smart way. But you have to be smarter. Mm -hmm. It's a strange bet from Corona. Why is he betting there? It's a very strange bet. I don't think I like that bet. <sighs> okay, if this play by Pedro looks good, or at least reasonable. If I was Babsy, I think I would shove. I might shove. He's got like 13, 14. He does this cute play. When's the last time you played the Super Millions? You play when you're online. You're playing that jungle. Do you do you get to play? Uh, do you get to play that a fair amount or no? When you're, I play it all. Uh, you know, whenever I can. I like to play it. I don't smoke weed at all. Very rarely. What about Burning Man? You got any Burning Man coming up? Maybe. I think I think at the moment I uh, am not planning on doing Burning Man. Yeah, at the moment I want to uh, focus and, you know, make, do some work because I've been just doing too many things like that and those things are actually quite pricey. I've seen, I've been following the Instagram, guys. Great follow Jungle Man on Instagram, Dan Cates, as well as Twitter. He does travel the world. Does a lot of charity, does a lot of fun stuff. Also, as we mentioned earlier, the podcast he does have winning the game of life. A lot of cool guests and a very, very, very nice podcast that you have created. What, what, how, how has that been? How, what's your overall update on the podcast feeling? Because it's, it's a lot of work, right? Is that something you're, 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 you're happy you've done? You're not sure yet? Or what, give me your experience with that. I'm happy I've done it, but I've accidentally spent quite a lot on it. I... I consider it a learning experience and it's been a valuable learning experience. And a lot of the things that I'm doing are really good for my long-term vision and it's going to be a big work. It's not for the money, it's for the passion. And it really, the goal of the podcast is um, to help myself grow, to have build a positive influence and to, um, and to also help the world eventually. There's many. It, it should, in theory, eventually accomplish those things. But you know, you know, it's a really long-term thing. What about you? Are you happy with the podcast? Looks like yours is doing very well. 
I enjoy it. I, lo- I really, I love it. It's been, it's been great. I think I've got like 185 episodes and slowed down a bit. You know, I had the, had the child and it's been busy, busy times, but like, I ideally like to do one a week. That's sort of the, the goal. And same thing. It's not really, it's not about making money or it's, it's not a money maker. obviously at the moment, you know, if you get Rogan or do something huge and do it forever and are consistent, but same as you, I'm not doing like three a week scheduled in a studio. I, I would, I, that would interest me. I just, not right now, you know, maybe down the line. It's nice to have the the possibility to do that, but I love the people I get to talk to very interesting sort of network and just get to get to see different specialists in their fields. And, you know, whether it's, it's a wide range, it's not just poker, right? I love talking to interesting people that are doing, doing cool stuff. And, and yeah, I love it. I, I really do. It's been a great experience as well. Now, Peter, I think the answer is you need to do your research to win millions is going to be tough these days. But if if uh, t- if you're average and talented, you could probably get to high stakes. I think if you're super talented, you, you probably have to be super talented to make millions. And I hope that a large number percent of people can, I hope that a large percent of people can at least make like good money because that's what the dream is about. The more the dream is there, the, the more the people that, you know, can play and think, oh, I can do this and I can just live off this and not go to college and be able to pay my rent and stuff as there's all these problems in the U.S. and or survive the third world, which, you know, no one's being able to do uh, in third world. But if that dream's alive for those people, then it's great. Yeah, it's, I'm, it's hard to calibrate. People ask a lot of the common question is, is poker, can I do it for a living? You know, that it's changed a lot. We came in early 2000s, 2002, three, four, this time period, right? Poker is a wild west, crazy, like opportunities in the game. It's very different landscape now. It's not, there's just different deals. Like it used to be sit and goes or heads up games. Now stuff shifted a lot. So it's, it's really hard to say what, what is the winning strategy? What's the, you know, micros versus high stakes. How does it work in online or tournaments? So it's, it's really changed a lot. But, you know, I think, like you said, if you work hard, you put time into it, you study, there is definitely room to be a poker professional or, or at least a semi-professional in this day and age. I, I would say that's. There's a lot of room, especially if you already are successful. If you already are successful, you've got a lot of, uh, got a lot of potential. Um, if you're not, then it's definitely still realistic. Uh, I mean, if you already are successful, it helps to make more money as it turns out. But if you're not, then it helps to, uh, you got to study and work, but it's possible. You got to get break through this high rake situation. Yeah, absolutely. Well, here we got Jack eight, six, four blind on blind. Both players make a pair. It's the um, monotone flop. Ace Jack four, six, four did bet. And now board gets a little bit, a little bit scary here. Oh, there's a welcome card. Ooh. Oh, and uh, I read someone said, Oh, I'm a great player, but variance will humble you. Variance humbles the people who are out of line. So stand up would be fun. By definition, it does that. That's what that's what variance does. But of course, you could be on the wrong side of variance. It's possible. Definitely happens. Yeah. That's a, that it, being results oriented in poker. It's very hard, right? It's it's just tricky to oh, not yeah, yeah. be that way. And that is that is ultimately what what the bottom line matters. And it's it's tricky if you don't know if you don't know how to calibrate what's going on, or if you have a hard time being honest. You know, sometimes you could be winning and not playing great, and of course, you could not you could play great and not win so that is that is a bit tricky as we see a tricky spot for ignacio here on the river kind of a kind of a, got a bluff catcher sizing wise here though eight six seven this is, this is a tough spot does make yeah. the call great value bet by ludo there yeah well ludo had the easier job the, the hard ignacio had the the hard job uh um, true, true. <laughs> yeah, not 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 hard to bet that river. It's uh, it, it, that was a tough decision in there. I think that was a little bit on the hero. Put the cape on. Wasn't correct, but look, Ignacio's keeping people honest. Jungle. He's saying, look, you better have something. I'm gonna call you. I'm checking in on you. you can't just run me over. He still got 8.8 million sitting in third, basically tied for third place. Let's call it here as uh, Ace Five Two. It seems to be a very popular three bet bluff candidate. Of course, he does pass in this spot though. 
and Pedro. Just you can just tell he's itching to play every hand with that stack. Not gonna play the Jack Five off suit. Oh, this guy full the ten nine suited was on the button. Is that right? Stack. He got eighteen nineteen blinds. Yeah, that seems crazy. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I play high rollers online. Oh, Macho Man's coming back. Don't worry about that. All right, four, five, Jack eight. We see a pair for Corona. It's gonna flop middle pair here. King five, three, two spades. Comes out with the bet. And if you are the short stack there, you don't love that. We do have a few super million winners. Actually, Ignacio has won in season two. And also we have Simon Matson as well as Duco Haven that have won two titles, two titles for Simon and one for Ignacio. I'm not familiar with him, so you are familiar. You're saying Ignacio is known to be a very good player, a, a, more of a cash game or I tournament think. game? I've seen him around a lot. I mean, I just think – I think someone told me he's very good, but I'm not sure. I don't know a lot of these guys, honestly. I think he's like some kind of uh, – I've seen him in high stakes and that and all that. Ooh, could be a mistake. Could be a jam here right in the aces. Jack-7 suit out there, although how many chips does he have? He's got the kind of a kind of a close one. Couldn't win, but how many blinds? Well, he's got it's got to get a get a lot of fold equity. He's really got a tough spot here. Ooh, um, I think he should. This has got to be borderline. I don't think I like. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Probably limp. Uh, yeah, de definitely limp. You can like call small raise. Wow. Someone's got to do it, Sandy. Tuco gonna go with the flat and flop top set does have to avoid a gut shot of running diamonds but Simon who has the lead is gonna likely be firing this board right he's got a gut you always that was one of the first lessons you taught me John you said bet your gutters bet your gutters and this is a with the lead in the hand yeah. Simon likely gonna Ooh. continue here although very very interesting situation that is under way here I, I this is going to be curious if simon can find a way to slow this pot down you don't want to believe your opponent really has aces right blind on blind i mean it's like kind of crazy how does he actually have aces you, this is ugly. It, it's ugly right because the thing is though other than aces like ace queen ace jack are just going to shove ace 10 suited and stuff not going to flat so it's uh, it's it's it is definitely a little bit dicey right now. I think Simon's gonna have a hard time not unloading the clip here. He is blocking the Jack Queen Jack Eight suited those type of hands, but two point six SPR stack to pot ratio less than one. Dicey. Very dicey. What would Jungle do? With Jack-7, give up. Looks like he... The, it's not a very good flop for Duco Haven because... No, no, no. This is no good by uh, Simon. First of all, it's a bad combo to bluffs. Secondly, Duco Haven has like an ace quite a lot here, I think. Or a 10. But he also blocks the... But the thing is, like, Simon's combo blocks the 10s and 9s too, if you look at it. He, um, he could block... Yeah, I don't like this play. He blocks the things of fold. He, he blocks a lot of things that fold. He doesn't block the aces, and there's a high high chance that this dude has an ace. Um, I guess what he's thinking is he would shove an ace there. I don't know about this guy's shove, Duco's shove. That's strange to me, but it probably ended up being the best play. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, it doesn't look like your opponent, is, you know, if he does have the jack queen or something, I guess you're, you're, you're charged. It's, it's, it's a, that's, that's curious to me, too. I actually... You think it's for sure? It's better definitely to flat there than shove just with top set. I mean, one to come, but for the extra million, there's a lot in the middle there. I mean, there's a lot. I lot out like, there. Yeah, I think it's kind of negligible to be honest. I think it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Duco up to twelve mil. Simon now critical condition one point three. Also short stacked. Babs very short as well. He's got kings though. 
and he's going to run into a good situation because Ignacio has, Ignacio likes to play a lot of hands. This is this is certainly a qualifying hand for Ignacio. He is going to see the bad news, get it in. Big pot, 8.2 million jacks to Kings. Hearts are covered for the Kings. Jack. You got Babs, don't you? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, Austria. Uh, Austria is tough, man. They, 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 I think, are the most dangerous at the final table of Super Million. There's a double. There it is. Babs is in it. Ignacio is still around 5 million. Not, not out by any means. And we are going to still remain seven handed. That is a nice pot for Babs. As we see Corona up to 10.7, Duco 12 million, Ignacio now below 5 million. Babs has 8 million. So a lot of, lot of poker left. Pedro been a little quiet after a, a absolutely lightning start up to 35 million. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I guess that's not so crazy. Yeah. And then uh, Simon's really short. Yeah. Okay. King four. Pedro. Starting to get, these are more the situations where he can really start taking over, putting a lot of pressure. And he does go for the shove effectively, you know, risking oh. the 7.8 mil with the big blind, but just knows that no one's really going to call off. Feels like it's a good hand to do it with. 36 million. King yeah. four off. I can see it. I think he's thinking... Simon's really short, and all these other guys just want this pay jump. So he's probably going to shove this too, I guess. Yeah, King 10 going to go ahead and put it now in his first, though. So now Pedro, people behind, they'll obviously not getting Simon to fold, just, just deciding if there's any decision making here. But the price you know is when... what's it pulled by. One million. thing that's uh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was saying, yeah, I'm a little surprised Pedro's even what he's thinking about here. Um, but maybe he's just multitasking. Jack seven suited. Go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. I've got a question. Why um, do you think I, I don't know why I've seen pros do the small raise thing? I don't know why they're doing that. I would think that they should just go all in, but I'm not sure. There must maybe there's, there's some, some sort of good reason I keep seeing this play. Well, just in case there's like two or three all in behind you or something, you could technically pay jump and. Pull oh, but, I but, see. But I do wonder that as well. There are times where I feel like why well, put, you know, if you're going to do that and leave yourself some chips, why not leave like a little more, but commit yourself still. So I, I, I do wonder on the exact cutoff on that. That's a good question. I don't know specifically what they decide. It's basically saying I'm committed, but if there's a Armageddon situation, I might, I'll release and, and go for a, a Pay jump situation. And, oh, I see. Yeah. All right, that made my day. I like when I enlighten jungle. That's rare in poker. I'm not going to give you many, many in insightful things you don't know, but that is that is the rough idea. Of that and Simon deuces on the button. Really can. Huh? He's going to run into a flip here. Ace four deuces the field. Wants the page up. They want to see the tough swedish player go down here ace four to deuces and he has got to fade a six a three an ace a four or else he will double up almost three to one favorite and look at that some guys can fade jungle that is a man that can fade tournament on the line deuces million up top he does go for a double up three million still in at 10 blinds a lot of poker left a lot of poker left I think you should come here. Maybe not just because. The thing is, though, again, the risk premium, right? He is basically tied for the shortest seven left, queen king off. Um, your dominating hands. I think Ignacio, he just feels like a go getter to me. I don't think he's going to fold, even though the book probably says fold, right? If the book says fold, it's a fold. Well, if it's close, then you should call because of the future street implications. Ignacio's feeling the love from jungle. I think he's spicing it up. He's got the Mexican flag today. He's looking for, he wants some guac, some salsa, 
Maybe a Cerveza. I think he's going to party here. Book would say, I think the book says full, right? There's still five, a 5 million stack. You're right on basically tied with that. Simon's got three. You're not, you just, you're going to be behind sometimes even. You know you're ahead almost always. That That is for sure. You definitely can feel safe to know that you should have the best hand. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. What this, this one I want to look up. This this ICM stuff, I'm not like a... What a would you do right now? You're playing this second. Because you do play tournaments and you do win these things. You you, you know how to do it. What would you do this well, second? Well, I, I win them because I'm, I'm, I'm too spicy. That's my problem in these things, right? <laughs> That's why I win them. That's why I'm more likely... I, I like win them quite often, but I, uh, I also um, probably miss some money from the EV. I, I would have probably called uh, if I'm really honest. Oh, there it is. King, queen, and hey, that is a textbook bad flop. 118 to 1 odds. That's the odds to flop a flush. It happened. Ignacio drawing data on the flop, and that is GG. So he does go for the call, goes for the bright lights. Pedro going to get almost, oh, there it is, 40 million. I mean, he is 4x second, effectively in the runover spot. And look at this. He may just, he's going to rip it in here again in the Queens. Is this what we're going to do? Or maybe he could actually not rip it at this point. He could just, he could just raise. I think it feels rippy, though, based on how he's playing. And man, oh, bro. we've seen nines <laughs> in the box in the big blind. Is it, it, Queen's not going to be the case. 10 million. And this could be a big moment for our friend here. And that is conclusive. That is a conclusive, not over jungle. It wasn't over on the flop. There was running ace possibility. But that is going to be a double up, and that is running hot. That's why you fold nines earlier, because you have $10 million and you are six-handed, playing for a lot of money, locked up some serious cheese. And look at this, man. What a what a, what a a run here for Ludo. And $35 million Pedro put back into reality check just a little bit. Let's see. I got Duco. And who else do I got? I got Corona and Duco. Is that, is that what's going on? It's, it's classic underdog situation. Not a massive underdog situation, though. Six, eight, pop it up. Fun game. Ace 10. Here we go. King Queen, couple King Queens around. Corona, though. Man, I, I, I really, I got to say, it's it's interesting because Pedro's been very active, but King Queen off. We've seen a couple very tough close spots to play aggressively, to pass. All options here. I don't think, well, flatting is not really one. So either fold or three bet. And he does go for a three bet. And See, Pedro. like, yeah. I, stuff like this. I just wonder why people like fold these other spots and then do stuff like this. You know what I mean? Because like this isn't not such high EV. Like this is never going to be like a great play. But the the calling with king queen offsuit, it's like a slam dunk call at like chip EV. So how can if if we're talking ICM, how can this be a good play? And the, the other hand be a fold. That's what I don't understand. Hey, feel player, right? There's there's. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of different situations, different feelings. People, there's a lot of energy out there too, John. People, people are kind of going with the flow. It's not always the same decision, and and they just they go for a different different scenario in different spots. I have been surprised myself a few different times with the decision making. But again, there are some you know tournaments. There's some great players here, and there's definitely anytime it's something interesting. I like to make a note. Take a take a look, and that's the that's how you get better. Talk to players. The, the tournament super crushers in the moment. Look at hands. Review. Get get another opinion on it because there is a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Six nine, got a gut shot. Jack Jack ten seven ace four in the lead. Ace high. Pedro deciding if he wants to start putting some money into the pot. And look at this big size gets it done. Nice bet.
All right, Simon, Ace Eight, first in. Likely. I would. Gonna go. I would change. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Look at the stack sizes. What's what's he waiting for? You know. Taking a little time and soaking in the moment. Bright lights. Want to take? I just had moment. an idea. Tell me. I just. I just had an idea. Is it possible to do like live, like betting on what players do in tournaments? There is this type of on the street. Not, I mean, not via huh? industry, but yeah, there's, there is, there is different ways. There is different ways for action, and, and I know there are. Different, yeah, there's many places where they do actually for this in the tournament. You mean like real time, like right now, or like on a like the problem is there's not really breaks. You can't. There's not like an updated uh line like this second if that's what you're asking yeah that would, that would be the thing is there's a delay though too right it's not there's like a 30 minute delay be a little bit tricky integrity wise and here we go flat eight six suited jack queen suited and two eights pretty pretty attractive spot to rip it although never easy to pull oh, that yeah. trigger and Man. it's more like i'd be worried in his shoes if there's gonna be two folds I think, um, yeah, probably a great spot to go all in. I'm really curious, though. I'm really curious about this one. Yeah, and now you just turn your hand into a set mine, right? You got, there's going to be a lot of really bad flops, like eight and a half to one to flop a set, and here you go. You are now not going to be winning the pot. 2.5 million out there. A lot of familiar faces. Appreciate everyone tuning in today. Let us know you're watching from. Hit that thumbs up. First part of the giveaway on almost 2,000 watching right now. That's interesting with 8-6 suited. Um, I guess you can get away with calling there. But I, I've done things like that. I don't know if it's really good. It'll look pretty good, though. Uh, it's like, yeah. He's definitely this, this painter's got like quite a lot of spice. I'd be I'm curious if you can get away with calling there. Maybe it's okay. Yeah, I mean Jack Queen blocks King Queen. It's got top pair on the flop, no longer top pair on the turn. Pedro gets the flush draw picked up. Nothing in there. Four million in the middle. And Duco got a tricky spot here as well, man. A lot of a lot of interesting spots so far. There's been some pretty tough tough run outs and making people make some decisions. Oh, goes for the blocker bet. Order pot. Order pot. Oh, block bet. Yeah. yeah. No, it's okay, I guess. Yeah. Raised by Pedro would be very interesting. Nah, it's like, no, I like that actually. I think I like that bet. Yeah, blocks the straight, doesn't really know where he's at, doesn't want to get bluffed, puts the price there. Seems like a, yeah, seems like a nice execution by Duco up to, up to 14 million. He is good for second place at the moment. Pedro, 34 million, just under. He's got, got control of lead, did double up. Lubo there on his left, Lido, I should say. I'm not gonna. Okay, how would you pronounce that, Lubo? You got some European experience. How do you pronounce that name there, Dan? You got a Lubovetsky, we'll call it. Or that sitting with 10 mil just about. So stacks of consolidated. Right. Simon Matson is the short right. stack. 10 blinds. Yeah, I was a little bit surprised this Pedro got in about the turn himself. Looks like Pedro may um yeah, maybe, maybe chilling out a little. King ten eight six, nice flop for Duca open ended here. King ten missing, may go small bet. Take a stab, and he does fire eight six though. Pretty pretty good. If you're gonna play eight six in the blind, defend flop open ended on the rainbow jack seven five. Just calls hits Yahtzee, not the nuts, but pretty much the nuts, right? Don't think vibes off his stack. This situation's opening eight ten suited, so got to feel pretty nice with this hand here. 
see if Duco goes for a lead out. Be a pretty pretty nice play. You like the oh. lead or no? The sizing, uh, I don't know if I oh. like the sizing. I do like the sizing, yeah. I, I do like that. It's a good card for Duco's side. Yeah. Really? You like that? You like, the, you like the 700K that, that bet in like quarter pot? Do you, no, do you like the river? Do you like the river? Hmm. 4.4 in the middle. And that is that is quite a double gutter coming in. That is that's a that's pretty crazy. This is this is an unfortunate situation for Duco. And the snap call doesn't let him stew over it long. I mean, that is quite a run out. 12 million babs is in a big, big spot now. Everything kind of even it out. That was a crazy, crazy hand. What a what a what a card there for Babs. Wow. Cold mm. run out for sure. What's going on, Jason Parker? Good to see you. This is Sean, are... I'm pretty sure we're not going to change the chips to blinds. <laughs> That's a great troll. Uh... <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, this is this is a now a little more even game stacks have kind of some of the shorter stacks have got up to that 10 million mark so simon's really the only critically short everyone else sort of in it and then we got our friend pedro who flops the missionary top and bottom nine deuce he is in a good spot king jack not much here i can't imagine continuing with the big size but i mean he still does have two overs it's blind on blind hand matchups are wide so i don't know for that size though it's a little too dicey to continue Let's fold another pop for Pedro. And again, the hands up promo is pinned. You guys want to guess the winning hand that is available. Got the jackpot progressive every week. Got to guess the specific suits and you can click on there and go that. Do that. Team four, Pedro. Definitely not afraid to put it in. He's had some light shoves throughout this this broadcast we are welcoming you in again jeff gross alongside dan jungle man cates yeah that one was was aggressive i don't know if that one's by the book it's at least okay I mean, it's, I, it's one of these situations where it might be a little bit plus ev to jam but i'm not so sure it's better than limping i would take limping over jamming in that spot or something else maybe even raising King nine, going to pop it up. Still, Pedro really having pretty good timing. The one time he was really out of line, he shoved with the A5 off and nines in the big blind, got the fold. Different situation at the time. I believe it was eight handed, eight or nine handed. And he did get that through. So, really, things have worked out well for Pedro. Other than one setback, he did hit 40 million, back to 35 at the moment. And queen six suited, raising up jack 10, playable hand, closing the action. European matchup here. Got Corona versus Duco. And Duco going to flop top pair, jack 10 off. Pretty above average flop. Corona backdoor straight, backdoor flush draw, likely small bet. Try to fade him here. See if he goes for that 300 bet. Big one. Wow, look at this. Picks a time that, again, Duco, though, not going to love it. You, you, you're, you're feeling good. You got top pair, but you're either really good or really bad generally here with this type of sizing. Welcome in, Dustin H. Good to see you. A lot of familiar faces. Hope you guys are having fun today. Had a good holiday over the weekend. I mentioned earlier, I did welcome our son, James, to the world. That was, it was a busy week. A bit tired. Thrilled to be here. And... Glad it was last week. Show was off. No super millions last week. That was nice. Got to relax. And then this week we are in for big action. Look at this. Spade turn, Jung. Might unload the clip here. The nah. four though, pairs. Pairs on weird size on the flop. I don't know. I don't know why it bit so big. It's a bit strange. Oh. Hello. Let me get this spot. This is a good spot to get in. Let me get these spots. Oh, you got Corona? No, I got Corona. That's right. This this one hurt. This was this is a this is a very 
man, what a river for Corona. Just the queen too, right? You get the, the, the magical card, no club, no spade. And it is a just absolute, just a, just a lightning in a bottle card. I just don't know. Is there, do you, do you, a race size like this on the river with this magical of a river, do you go for the value or you just call, you, you just call go for the value, dude. You, you like to raise there. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's really what separates great players from, from good or, or so, so, right. It's like finding, knowing to go there, even in the moment, you're like, Oh, it's such a big pot. If I call and I win, it's great. But to suss out that extra value, I, I you know, I find myself, I think, in spots like that, just going for a call sometimes when I know the answer is better to raise. In this spot, in the other spot, I really do think you have the best hand an awful lot of the time. And I think I think it is a raise even at GTO. And that's that's what I think. Yeah, another cool hand. Or even, in, even with the ICM, excuse me. At GTO, it definitely is. The question is, is it a raise with all the tournament things going on? I just think, yeah, I just think he's got the best hand of just really a ton. Like, it's not very easy to have a four and and do that. Like, it's very hard. Right. Or or, or a queen. How does he have a queen that, that calls on the flop that, yeah, he should never really have a queen, right? Ace, queen, you would have heard well, from queen, king. He, he, well, he has to have a better queen than you. And he probably threw bets his queen. Well, actually, maybe no, not. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He has to have a queen, a better queen that calls the flop. Like queen, queen, uh, you know, there's not many queens that are calling the flop. Oh, he bet big on the flop, too. Yeah, it's he important to Yeah. This seems like he, Pedro, could bluff here on the turn. Yeah, he could bluff at this combo here. With all the other stuff he's doing, I don't know why not. Yeah, I mean, that would have been a fine combo to double barrel, fine card. Doesn't block straight draws. Doesn't block backdoor draws. The other guy doesn't want to, like, make too many gambles. You've got Babsy, right? Yes. King Jack going for a value bet here. Pedro with... 10 high, pretty much the worst hand you could have. One of the worst. And he's he's thinking. He's thinking something. Ace four, Simon getting very short though. Still a lot of players left behind. It would actually work as it turns out. No one really had a playable hand. Doesn't go for it. Can't blame him with that particular holding. Pedro still thirty five million. Go up the Doyle there. Ten do suited picks it up. Really finding good timing today for Pedro, where he's been been kind of stepping out on shoves and opens, getting it through here threes. Again, not a not a hand many players here would want to play, but with that stack getting that open first in he's looking for hands to play does come in with the raise and pedro seeing if he can find the run over situation he is up to 36.7 million Thirty six seven. No one with the great hand other than Duco. Two ten. Simon thinking Queen Seven off computer hand heads up on the button. Nope, not gonna take it. Duco now a decision to trap or to play his hand straight up. Let's see. He does go for that. Goes for the trap and he's got a, a perfect hand against a perfect player to step into it. Let's see if Pedro goes for it. Doesn't first part doesn't doesn't go for it, but still possibly could could stab. Pretty good spot. Tens to ten do suited. But yep. You know, Pedro showed good discipline too, though. He's not like completely out of line, right? You saw him even maybe too much discipline with the tens on the king 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 flop run out where he decided not to bet when there was no overcard in that board by the river. So I mean he's he does show patience at times and also aggression. So he he's showing kind of the complete package in my mind in terms of very, very able to turn and shift gears at, at times. So, see, so, yeah, I, I mean, uh, the jury's out 
uh, for me on that one. I, uh, the jury is um, looking at things a little bit differently, and I'm, I, I want to see a bit more before I make that judgment. That's that. No, I, I don't. I don't mean to knock on you or, your, or Brazil. Uh, but, I, 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 jungle. We want. We don't want diplomats. Diplomacy. You know, diplomatic. We want to hear. We want to hear their feelings. That's okay. It's all right. So you guys. You guys are playing for a lot of money. They. They got a lot to be proud of. You can. They can take a uh, criticism here and there. And there's a seven 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 lucky seven flop. King Jack Ace King River Simon needs some real help. Could chop as well. And it is not to be Pedro. Man, he's on fire. There's a look at their GG earnings on the. The left and right of your screen, Pedro, as the blinds go up, will knock out another player. We're down to five-handed. This thing's moving along quickly. Do you have an underdog situation? We are five-handed. Hope you're enjoying. Having fun. Going to get ready for the giveaway. It'll be $50 or $100. Got to hit that thumbs up. We will get you a... We will get you a... Key word for the for the giveaway here coming up here. He just spice play. Really. He's someone who's just like gonna say fuck Pedro to uh it's just uh Yeah. I like I like it. I like it right now. I will say I mean it's sitting it's looking good, but there's a lot of play left. Still some some dangerous stacks. A team Austria over there with eleven million each. Got it you gotta you gotta respect them. They're they're tough. Great, great poker playing country. Brazil holding it down. Brazil, I think I don't. I think every single Super Millions, there's been at least one Brazilian player here. I, I, I would put that on record. I think that's true. Yeah, Brazil's getting in there. Brazil really is getting in there. And here we go. Everyone's got something. Pair, ace, ace. Blind on blind. This seems like a very nice spot for a shove. Now, ace five off. Not so fun. I don't think, based on what we've seen early. I don't think we're gonna see a call. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, true. Ryan, we'll wait. We'll go down to we'll go down to like three handed. Pedro, what's his odds? What do you think, Dan, to take this down? What do you think percent of the time? Forty million a second, basically as one. This I really, back. this I really don't know. Uh, I think he's something like, hmm, like thirty percent or something, or twenty five percent. I'm curious if my estimation is correct. All right. Well, we are. I think, yeah, ear, that seems pretty good. I'd say maybe a little more. I mean, well, how much chips does he have in play? He's got 28, 34. He's got over half the chips in play, but, right, there's a lot that can happen. It's hard to win. Probably gets heads up, like, an overwhelming amount of the time. But hard to win. Hard to win. As you know, you've come back for some for some special short stacks and you've seen it all. It, it's never – getting the trophy, getting the getting the outright win is not not easy. So we are going to play to a winner. Hope you all are enjoying. A lot of thumbs up today. About 2,000 watching. And I am fired up. I'm tired. I'll be honest with you guys. My energy, you know, I bring the energy. But I'm, it's been I, going from one to two. I heard this expression they say, uh, and, and parenting is not one plus one. And it's true. It is. It's been very, very interesting. The math does not add up one plus one. There is, it is a, it's a lot more. It's pretty intense. And What's, what do you mean? Right huh? What's that? What do you mean one plus one? Like basically going from one child to two does not really equal like one plus one. It's like more than that. Like it's it's more intense. Like it, it's a lot of uh, it's hard to explain, but it's very tiring. You know, like you're just you're, you're tired. You're not getting the full oh, sleep. Yeah. The other child's demanding. It's it's oh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's been it's been an interesting week, but a great week. Just just uh, not a lot of sleep. But hey, so, listen, poker, we all we've done it. We've all had those. I, honestly, I think poker and parenting goes nicely because, like, you're used to being tired, long hours, like being up till three, four, five a.m. doesn't really phase me. It's, uh, I'd say, a kind of um, 
is, is helps. And look at this, eight nine Duco, Duco this, uh, with a with an ambitious play here. Ah uh, man, like I, I see all these guys folding these crazy hands, and then they want to do shit like this. It's crazy. Like this doesn't this. I mean, I've done things like this a little bit to be fair, but I don't fold like um i don't fold crazy hands like this this is not how it works you can't just make like a play and i'll play someone these these plays are like you know like i, I don't even think that i wouldn't even call the 89 off at i might have bet the flop that might have been okay but i wouldn't have called a bet in that spot like the good news is he's got some spice so he's got a shot to win Sure. I, I've seen this this asked in the chat a few times. I just got to ask. You, I don't want to spend. I don't want to go into a combo on it. I just want to know. Summarize the Robbie, the 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 Robbie hand, the Jack four off. If you just gave me like your summary in thirty seconds, ten seconds, what what do you think here's, happened there? Here's what I think. When before, I, for a long time, I thought that she was uh, innocent, and then that dude took ten percent off her stack. Uh, and apparently they they you know she was following him and whatever and after that i, I just like uh, because that just doesn't happen man uh and uh, he apparently was like able to see the cards and things like that i think i think that for sure that, well not for sure at least i wildly like my my opinion wildly swung to the other side um now it's like sw swung back a little bit but but um, on the whole, I don't think she like. Even if she something happened there, even if something happened, I don't think Robbie's getting the best of the situation. Let me just put it like that. I don't think. <laughs> so I think that's kind of what matters more than whether you know she's guilty or innocent. Because like, Ooh, I feel... hold that thought. A six to tens, Pedro. Steps out and he is in a potential swinging pot to put someone in very good shape. Babs has to fade the river and will do that. Look at this 19 mil. So we almost saw a complete run over. Things are going to even up a little. This is sort of of your 30% guessing. They look, it happens like that. Now another guy's super in the game and Pedro with the, again, he's sort of still 35 million though. Very impressive. Got a lot of chips to play with, but that was his first setback in a while. Sorry. Continue your thoughts. So the Robbie, Robbie situation. You yeah, the Robbie situation. The interesting thing is, even at the situation, excuse me, even in the situation that something happened, that that she's not innocent, even in that situation, I still like feel bad for her a little bit, or feel like jungle. We got it. The Robbie thing is going to be prolonged because we got Ace King the force. We have a force currently holding, going to the river, has to fade some board pairs. Or a ace or a king, and the river is an ooh, the space ace, the Barry G. Little spice, 15 million, and jungle. Just when you're making your plans, your night out in Vegas, maybe a late lunch, we got stacks evening up. We, we, we had a potential run over. Now we got 15, 12, 10, 5, 34. This is not over yet, and we're going to go back to the Robbie for the third time. Let's see if we can finish the thought. So, Robbie, innocent, guilty, unsure. Where do you weigh in and what you said you're swinging? Your opinion's sort of been swaying. Well, now I, I now what's uh, the opinion has uh, taken a, a detour, you could say. It's um, it, it, you know went from thinking on um, between the lines of guilty, innocent, and then it realized first of all that there's some entertainment value here, and second of all, things are more complicated than that. In that, that's not the only thing that matters. It also matters what happens after that. One for one thing, you know, Robbie. Uh, like uh, Robbie gave all the money back, so there's that like immediately. So there's yeah, that. That's, that's wild to me as well. That whole thing is like uh, that because like I you, you know you don't want to talk about you, you don't want to talk about feminine you know this that it's like it, it that's crazy in itself, right? Like that's such a wild situation. You know what I mean? Like for that to even happen, whether you did something wrong or not, like that doesn't make any sense to me either. It's just like such like a wild thing to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was that blew my mind. That's like maybe the one of the, the most interesting parts of all of it and, and how that went down. And then like Garrett gave it to charity, but like now, you know, what I mean, like it just it's just kind of crazy. Um, so yeah, so what's your verdict? What do you rule if you had to pick? What is your final thought? 
right now? Current thought. Um, my current thought, as I've told you, but are you asking if she did something or not? Right. Yeah. Like, do you think she, there was anything, anything like not a, an up and up there? I, I think, I think there's, I, I don't want to say that something happened, but I do want to say that I think she's gotten, gotten the worst of it. And I think she should be allowed to play. Uh, let's put it that way. And I also think Jack four offsuit is the new aces. That's what I think. There has been some funny hands with Jack Four. What do you mean allowed to play? Is she not currently allowed to play on the show? Oh, she is. I think. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just okay. saying. I'm just saying it's good that she can play. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it, I. I mean, look, the Bill Perkin like putting on the the the, the money and like the, the the bounties and all that. Like it's crazy. Like you would think too, someone come forward for he, Joey Ingram was involved. You know, some 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 bounties to give people for information. A lot of money. Nothing Very came true. up either. But. Um, we got ourselves a we got ourselves a pot here. Pedro, four six yes. ace eight. Not going to be shaking ace eight here. I can't imagine. Just people and, like people don't pick their spots that well, in my opinion. Um, well, this spot's like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really love it, but I don't really like it that much. I guess what he's thinking is, is he going to jam here? I don't know. I mean, jam's like, I mean, very jam is very unfortunate. But to be fair. If he jammed here, this guy, Luvitowski, Lu, I don't know how you're pronouncing that right, would have like a very ugly decision a lot of the time. I don't really like that size. I, I think that size, like this guy's going to have an ace a really large amount of the time. Like, what do you think? He could have a king, I guess. He has some, he has a pair of flush draw sometimes. Yeah. Well, big pot. I mean, Pedro, 25, 24 mil, and, and chips have chips have flown around. And Lou, uh, I, 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 I was going to call him Lubo. I mean, he is he's in a good spot. He's on the direct left. He's got chips, maybe a little bit tilted from Pedro. But again, Pedro still sitting chip leader, essentially tied. And here we go. Lubo now going to work. 3-6 suited, open it up. I don't like this play with 3-6 suited. I don't think this is the hand to do that with. It's very similar to... When you're three betting, you don't want to three bet three six suited. You want to play post flop with it because it covers more boards than you don't. There's not really much advantage to having six three suited in your three bet range. Let's put it that way. And there is advantage having it in your call range. So the situation of limp call, for example, is far superior of the situation of raise. And I've got six three suited. Now, if you raise with six three suited, I have a piece of shit hand where you have a lot of bluffs anyways that. You just add it to your bluffs, and now you have to like check fold more as a as a consequence. I'm a little surprised. Yeah, it makes makes perfect sense. I'm a little surprised by the raise, not flat. It seems like the perfect stack situation and player to just call. But <laughs> what do what do you I think this about guy this? Like, um, I like flat actually. I like flat more than this, but I think this is cute. Yeah, I probably not. To be fair, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I probably wouldn't fold and just be like. Jack picking up. Lubo sitting very, looking very dangerous right now. He's got the chip lead. He's on the direct left of Pedro. And he has got a good thing going here. And Pedro, let's see how he adjusts up stuck. That's a still lock terminology. He's kind of stuck from your peak. Still in very good position, but first time where he's not dominating the table. I mean, he had a four to one lead on the second stack not long ago. Now to this direct left, he is actually out chip slightly. So things have changed quickly here. And Pedro going to go back to work here. Small blind, big blind, eight, six, five, six. And see the limp expected. Probably going to be limping close to the entire range in this spot. And let's see if Lubo puts the pressure on, doesn't checks back. Both players miss seven, seven king. So hard to make a pair in no limit Texas Hold'em. As we see here, no one doing so. Pedro's not punting it. I don't agree with that. I don't love his 6-4 play, but um, yeah. All right, Pedro still 
All right, there we go. Basically, basically tied. Saw a comment in the chat, Kenji Yoshima, Yoshimira, saying that Jeff with another child, you added three more relationships to your family, not just one. San Antonio just told me as well, and I was in LA explaining about that. It makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah, you are adding more relationships. I will put some. I'm going to put up some. Uh, put up some pictures here shortly. I've actually been sort of off social media and just kind of relaxing. It's been busy, tiresome, and just enjoying. So it's. Uh, been nice to do so but yeah i think uh i think the robbie situation i've had a lot of mixed feelings as well i mean she seems that she seems to carry herself well uh, and and she's definitely made a made a name for herself in poker won a gpi award and you know again nothing kind of came out so she seems to be playing a lot of games and i'm not sure how she's been doing results wise i know she went to the lodge you had played there doug polk did some did some commentary and some stuff and she was playing so i mean she seems like she's she's marketed herself well and really been in the mix and in the scene so i think Overall, I think it's gone well for her, I would say. But you, you said you think she's got the worst of it a bit just because her name was like put out there as possibly cheat. Like what, what was what was the worst of it, you think? I think, um, well, she gave the money back. She That part she did well in. Um, yeah, that part she really did well in. Uh, she gave the money back and... Yeah, like even... If she did something and she gave the money back, like the, the Garrett could have just won the hand as well. So there's that. Yeah. And also, I think, yeah, I mean, I think if, uh, I think you know, there's not a whole lot of, good things that could seems like if if something did happen there's lots of like stranger repercussions i can tell you that for sure well ace three suited king queen suited two powerful hands both spades and ace three gonna hold up here for the best hand makes two pair obviously at five there's a four line to a straight but pedro should feel pretty confident five million in there I'm wondering if he should be betting this Probably, I guess you get called right, but there are there are definitely ace jack ace. There's some other aces that could could call you here. You got you got two pair. Unlikely your opponent has any five x hands. I think so, there. Um, maybe check. Eh, not sure, not sure. Yeah, it's hard to get paid. Maybe. Yeah. For Duco Haven, I was a little bit surprised he folded for twelve big blinds uh, previously on the cutoff. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've seen, like, to your point, today I'd say the thing that stands out the most for me is there's some, like, very players that are playing inconsistently in spots, right, where you're, like, surprised. They do something completely different in a similar spot where it's uh, – so it's kind of kept everyone – kept us on our toes here. I've definitely been guessing and not been correct all, all the time today for sure. It's been some interesting – Interesting plays. Good to see everyone. Let us know what you think. Who's going to win? Who is your choice? We are going to see a winner today. We will play to a winner. That's a cute play. That's a very cute play. <laughs> uh, that, can, that play seems okay. That play seems okay. Did pick a spice player. To do it against. Eights. Duco. Duco, though, risk premium. I love that term. It's just, there's nowhere to go. He's got eights. He's on the button. There's five left. And I mean, it's not like there's a shorter stack or an even stack. No one basically double where he's at. I can't imagine really getting a better spot than this. I mean, maybe just a little tanking to think what to what he's doing or to look whatever but he's high high up in the range here does look strong though from pedro is he considering what, what do you, is he considering folding no he can't he's not really considering folding here john was he i mean i it, it just does it just I think there's just a little bit of timing tell here. I mean, it's almost like he's just so high, high up in the range. He shouldn't fold, but maybe he is afraid of the size. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, it's a little cute play. Yeah, it's it's rare you see when people are playing for a million dollars, half a million. There's there's uh, five left, big pay jumps, big money, and and you see someone min click your button raise off of this stack size. So you're, you're to be fair, yeah, it does look it does look scary. What do you think, audience? You gonna rip it, grip it, ship it? I don't think he's gonna flip it. I don't think maybe, he's gonna... maybe he's thinking of calling versus jamming. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But at the same time, you get a hand like this, you get the fold equity. You get you pick up two point eight million, three point eight. You got one million out there. There's two million from him. You could get folds potentially. I I think that's part of what's crossing his mind. Is there really any bluffs? Is there? Is he? Does he? Could I even? Is there a fold? Right? Is there a chance this player folds? Yeah, jam also like i don't think that's really i don't think that's really crossing his mind that that's like a percentage of the time he can't pedro's got heart he's getting four to one like direct right he's getting thousand almost four to one like it's crazy to fold like you know see you really think he's got precisely this is the hand I was trying to get you to fold in the, the Alpha 8 when we were in South Africa, the tournament you won, the 100K. I, I shipped it. You had eights. I had ace nine off. I was like two of four and bubbled. That was the that was probably the worst. That was my the, my saddest moment in my poker career, actually, versus you, Jungle. I hate to say it. I wish wish we could have gone heads up in that one. But you got your title. That was nice. That was nice to win. It was, it was more like a sit and go, but still, you got a nice trophy. It was in South Africa. That was fun. Alpha eights. That was what year was that? 13, 14, probably 2014. No, 13, I think. Long time ago. It's the longest flight in the world. Johannesburg to Atlanta to Johannesburg at the time. Wow. 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 Guys, if you're if you're playing at home, if you're playing in the, you know, the the if, don't try. That is not gonna work. I, I mean, that is that is that is. I gotta put that in, guys. Nice. But I need to highlight. That needs to be on there. That needs to be. We, that was an interesting hand. I need to note that. I need to timestamp that. Jack ten ace four. Man, it is. I, I I will say one. I love I love commentating. I love watching. I love learning. It's like a I always say it's four study session, but I, I love it. I, I mean, these are amazing to watch. I would I like to see them even before I was I was hosting the show. But it is uh, it is interesting. You know, there is there is a lot of plays that are. I'm always like, wow. I don't. I just don't know, right? I'm like, man, is it maybe they're onto something? I'm just completely missing the ball. It is interesting to see and think why people do things in spots. I mean, it's clearly what the decision process is there. I just do feel like that was, that was pretty surprising to me. Yeah, I do agree. Uh, Corona did the cute play too. They're all doing the cute play now. Pedro's found creative ways to chip up. I mean, he, he's played some big pots and he's still, he's got 30 mil. He has back up to a separated chip lead. His style is definitely a bit more aggressive. He's, he's taken some spots. And six three suited Duco. Duco calling five hundred thousand to win two point five five is what he would be calling five hundred. Two point five would be in the middle. He does fold though. What do you think about when you're short? When you're that short, when you're the shortest stack. Do you like to peel I, there? Or? Peel? What, what the? You need to gamble when you're short. That's that's what I would assume, but I'm just like, look, this guy's on the he's on a different wavelength. That's what I would call. You gotta gamble. You gotta gamble when you're short. I don't see why that's a gambling hand. It seems like the hand to do it with. Yeah, you gotta gamble while you're young. Shout out to Harry Cohen. My man Bree Jess checking in today as well. A lot of a lot of familiar faces today, guys. We will get at forehand. I'm gonna start the giveaway. So apologize, gets a bit spammy. That's how we'll do the fifty or hundred dollar giveaway. You gotta Type in the keyword, which you will hear in a bit, and then we will you hit the thumbs up. You'll be eligible along with the keyword, and we will give away $50 or $100. I forget who I even gave you guys exactly. I'm feeling generous. It might just be $100 today, not $50. I, I, I usually give a sweat, but I just it feels like feels right to give $100. Got babies being born. It's holiday weekend. 
feeling like 100. I'm just going to lock in 100 for you guys. But hit the thumbs up if you're having a good time. If you're enjoying 2,000 plus watching here, join with Dan, Juggle Man, Kate, and how much studying are you doing these days, Dan? Are you are you are you doing tournament review at all? Are you are you give us a little look into what you're doing in terms of poker wise? I'm working on tournaments, um, but I haven't been able to focus at the moment. I uh, I'm also not playing a lot of high stakes tournaments, but I am playing some smaller stakes tournaments. Interesting. What is, what is smaller stakes in your world? What does that even mean? Playing like. Um, I'm playing like, you know, I play even like 1Ks sometimes. I think 1Ks, uh, you know, I think that's a good place to to practice and work on it. I don't think, uh, I think it's quite risky if I play like the highest stakes against the top players all the time. Like, I think they're very good. And I've got to, uh, like, at, at the very least, i got to check, you know, learn this preflop stuff. And uh, work on it in um, in no limit. Uh, like if it was cash games, it was a bit different. You know, I play some cash games too, but you, there's not always that many good high stakes cash games on the internet. There are in person. There are some live ones, but not you know not online, not at high stakes. It happens. Studying air balls, play. Yeah, there you go. Studying some air balls, maybe like some is what's cool. Good stuff. What's going on with the airball Berkey thing? I, I, I just like saw there was some, there's, I've seen a lot of chatter. Is he down? It's like a third of a buy-in. There've been some big pots. There's like a lot of talk. What, what's, what's happened there? Are you, are you following this? Do you follow the heads up battles, grudge matches? Are you, are you sweating this one? Um, I, uh, was not sweating, but I was certainly not expecting the, uh, the, air, the airball smack talk pull away. I was not expecting that one, to be fair. <laughs> There's a lot of things about Airball I wasn't expecting. Like, many, many things, man. Wait, he, wait, it, wait, what do you mean the smack talk pullback? He, he, they, him and Doug talked a lot of smack. I wasn't expecting Doug to, like, be wildly anti, anti-Berkey. I don't know why he is. Yeah. It's very strange. I think something's going on there. I think, uh, if I'm really honest, I, something feels off in that I feel like... I feel like there's some ulterior reason why Doug is doing this, but I, uh, I think it's like not that bad. I think it's like, I think it's like, uh, I, I will say this. I, I'm, I like to stay fairly new and what I, you know, I Berkey and Doug are two guys. I, I actually respect more so just because of what they've done. Right. They've, they've established content podcasts, putting a lot of work within the poker community. So it does, it does surprise me when it's like, so, Aces do go looking for action there on the button, short stack, doesn't get it. But yeah, I'm just a little surprised. It does seem like there's something else there, right? They really seem like they're really going at each other. There's been some really Yeah, there's some kind of like shots. There's some some kind of like increased aggression. I just don't understand it's just yeah. out of nowhere. Like why the fuck does he hate Berkey? Did Berkey like kill his dog or something? Like I, mean, that's no, I, I agree. I don't I, but see again, that's hard when you're just kind of like there might even be an explanation or something somewhere or whatever. I, I just kind of catch in, you know, I pop on Twitter and I you see some of the stuff and some shots or the videos, Doug's doing videos. And I think, you know, Burke, they won the podcast of the year, I believe for their show, you know, that he does. And, and like I said, anyone, I think you appreciate as well doing a podcast. Ooh, ace eight, king, queen, Corona here for what's that? Six blinds, but calling off and would put him in. They would flip flop, right? Duco would actually jump him. This is very close as well. Very I'm not close. folding this man. man. Not, I'm not folding. Folding. No, he needs to bust someone too. Like he's who's he gonna bust? He's gonna bust the no, dude. You get a call for sure. I would think call, but I I can see why this one is very close though. I think it is close, but King Queen. It, feel, to... it feels strong. It feels Check very it. strong. He's just shoving. He's shoving. Yeah, definitely shoving worse. Your hand plays well. So, yeah, it's like gotta be a call. Yeah. See, I just don't understand what these guys are trying to do. They're trying to like three bit and bust all these moves, and they want to fold that spot. Like, what? Like that was like seven big ones, six ish big blinds. Come on. I think it is close. I mean, it does feel super close. But yeah, I would call, and I'm tight on those spots. So I don't know. 
that's why it's a beautiful game. But yeah, it's 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 interesting. It's it's entertaining. Listen, there's a lot of entertainment going on. There's a lot. Maybe Doug and Burke are actually boys, and it's all like they're it's just like a, a content. You know, they're just they're just geared. like a, like nowadays in MMA or these other these no, boxing this time, matches. No, there's something. They're no, not it's boys. not. You're not feeling this isn't a this isn't a ruse. You know what? Also, I like respect Berkey for all kinds of reasons. Uh, I mean, Berkey does some stupid things sometimes, but he's like, uh, he's got a lot of good qualities. Like he's in great shape. He knows how to run a podcast. He, he knows how to set up a, a a training site, even though his name's not that big. His name's not as big as any of these guys, and he's doing well. I I just say like from it from it again. Two guys I know. We've been in poker around the exact same time. I, I'm not calling them friends. I, I I know them. We say hi. What you know? I mean, like we're not like I'm not texting with them. We're not. I just say from a respect standpoint, anyone that like puts a brand together, does goes you know gives content, gives time, energy, effort. It's really not easy. So that that's what I'm saying from a respect standpoint. I just respect both. And so like yeah, I'm just I would love to know. I gotta uh, I gotta know. Like I, I gotta I gotta get a little more side note on that. I would be curious what the what's happening there. There's something there. You're right. I think there there's some extracurricular. Like it doesn't make a lot of sense for the for the the hot, the, the crazy uh, back and forth. But yeah, poker world's got you know it's good. There's always there's something going on. There's always something going on. That's that's uh that's currently if you're not following that is that is the uh, the buzz the heads up. People love a good good heads up match. And six seven ten six six seven again. Pedro just got stone air, one of the worst hands. And Ludo finds trips again. Similar situation we saw earlier. Blind on blind hit that four. This time though, different because he was just winning anyway. Now he's really winning. And not interested. Pedro not going to be continuing there. Kind of an ugly spot. Well, turn not as much as it might appear. Um, hey, uh, Jeff, can I uh, can I uh, walk away for a second or no? Yes, I'm gonna allow it. The audience, if you say yes, Jungle can take a breather. Let it, let's put the thumbs up. Let's put a one in the chat for a for a minute for a break. But yes, go have some food. Use the restroom. I'll hold it down. I'm used to these 12 hour Twitch streams back in the day. Jungle. I can I can hold the show down by myself. Don't panic, guys. We're gonna. Am I required to? Am I required to stay the entire time? Uh, that is. That is no, 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 no. Excuse me. What I mean is, am I required to, to? Am I required to not take a break? Absolutely not. You are welcome to take as much break as you like. We'll hold it down. One second, just get some not food. Very, not very long. Yeah. All right. Dial in. Focus. We got a huge finish coming here, guys. Jungle Man is here. If we're allowing a break, the audience is engaged. I. I we need Jungle. I agree. I don't want to let him go, but I mean, sometimes you gotta let him take take a break, man. The audience is, you guys are legends. We're good. We're gonna we're gonna hold it down together. You guys, you guys make it easy to, to finish out here. It's been a fun final table. We've seen a lot of play in, in Ludo now, 35 million separate for Pedro. Welcoming everyone. Once we get on the floor, we'll do the giveaway. I'm just gonna make it a hundred dollar giveaway. Hit the thumbs up. That's the first part. Giveaway keyword coming up. It's gonna be a hundred dollar giveaway. I just decided. Ace Queen Jack for the the Robbie. So it has to be jack four off or could it be jack four suited? Sort of like the seven deuce game, right? It's like if you get seven deuce and it's suited, it's nice, but it's still a seven deuce game. And he calls jack four suited, ace queen. Cards on their back, ace pairs, not that exciting of a sweat. Four puts some life, puts a little life. Five outs one time will not be the drama. My man Duco going to double up. Duco doubling up. We got ourselves a game. Sixes shove. Ace deuce off. Not going to call off. Ooh, a costume. Ryan. I, you know what? I think he, I think it was kind of last minute. I think he would have, uh, I think we could have got jungle in costume for sure. And this is one of those stacks where you can put a lot of pressure on. Maybe not a shove, but a, a raise. Three and a half X or so, right? Because Corona, Duco, and just discipline. Ludo showing the class that, hey, I'm chip leader. I'm supposed to raise, but you know what? I just feel it. I'm not going to raise. I'm not going to be cute. I'm just going to give it up and pick other spots. There is something to be said when you do that. You show discipline. You can maybe find other ways to people do realize, oh, I'm not just going for every spot. And there it is. There you go. Shoving King 8.
there he goes. There goes that man. There's a look at a giveaway, 10 million April on GG. A lot of giveaways, a lot of action. We are in Super Millions 2023, episode six, and a shove here, a six suited. A lot of chips, a lot of chips to call off. You're going to be dominated a lot. Gonna have guys gonna have sevens, gonna have you know, ace nine suited, ace ten. Guys got king queen, you happen to be ahead, not ahead of a lot, but it's not a lot of blinds. This is very close. Well, I've seen so many like this is close. It'll be a very fun highlight video. I know we have some on GG Poker as well as my Jeff Gross Poker YouTube channel. I've done highlights from the show. There's a lot today. This would be a very special one. And he does call a six suited. Cards on their back, huge moment for everyone involved and a very nice flop for a six suited can turn dead some, but now just a king or a queen only or else we will see another knockout. Oh man, it just like, it's so emotional. The game is so emotional and it is just the, the, the team Austria not ready to go and Pedro finds himself on a interesting situation. Very close spot there, Jungle. You missed some action. A six suited called off the king queen shove from Corona. For about nine blinds, if I'm not mistaken, might have been a little less. And he did call and got rivered. Needed a king or queen only on the river. Corona got it. Team Austria right back to the 10, 11 chip mark, 10, 11 million. And uh, Pedro now finds himself as, it's funny, he's actually short, but he's still in second. He's like got 13 million, it's very tight. And Ludo has separated himself. Variance is real for sure. The variance is real. This is definitely this is a this is a big situation here. A lot of money up top. We just saw the payouts spread 420 to fifth, all the way up to 1,184,000. That will be awarded today. This is Super Million Special Edition, five mil guaranteed this week. Like 776 players, just just crazy for a 10k buy-in on a Sunday. I mean, it's amazing. It's honestly amazing. I remember grinding tournaments for years back in like 2009, 10, 11, and you know, there's like the Sunday Million 200. $500 buy-ins, 1Ks were like big. And now it's like 10Ks, 5Ks, 2Ks, 25Ks online. The live series, Triton, big, big buy-ins, big tournaments all over the world. And poker is absolutely crushing, absolutely epic time for poker. And it's fun to see here. High production, great players. And again, Super Millions action. Very, very fun to do. They were hoping for a costume. I think Jungle's eating right now. We're going to talk about it. Maybe for future shows, we'll have to sign that in the contract. Dude, why didn't you tell me, man? I would have done something. I, I didn't. Well, listen, I, that, that's what I love some most about you is how creative you are. I don't want to, I'm not, I don't need to like pop it. You know what I mean? Like if you're feeling a costume today, I know you would have, you would have worn it. Maybe you're just traveling. You came back. Like, I don't know. I don't want to make you go out of your way, but I, you know, I'm ready for anything. I, I know you're, my costume you're is, ready. is your foil. I, I wear the same clothes as you. And uh, my kind of commentary is different from yours, right? So I think we make a good team. You're more of like, um, how do I say? You're more of like, I think your style reminds me a bit of like sports announcements, whereas my style is like uh, a bit more like a different kind of, just a different kind of commentary on on the way the, the hands are playing out and that kind of thing. Mine's more... Um, um, how do you say in the it's more like i, I think I, I got more i'm i'm i have a spicier style let's put it that way no listen we're, we're we're friends uh i can take it you can just say it you're not a good i'm not a very good poker player i got it i got that's what i took out of what you just said well, that's not what i'm saying that's not I'm what i'm kidding. saying at I'm all i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding i know that but I, but yes color and, and 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 analysis for sure you are you juggle you are one of the biggest online poker winners of all time and we are definitely i am deferring to your your i know that's how you're saying i'm just making a joke but yes i get it yeah we do have different styles that's why it works that's why this is like a good we got, yep. we got a good thing going here um well i'll dress up in the future I'll, I'll think of something if something comes to mind i will i just didn't know you wanted me to do that like it because it's like kind of weird to dress up it's a big jump but i actually think if people I like play into it it could be very entertaining I didn't say I want you to dress up. The audience is asking that I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't I can dress saying, up. I, I would love to see you dressed up, but if that's what you want to do, I'm not going to, I'm never going to ask you to dress up. The audience is asking. I, I would never like, I, I get it. I dig it. If you want to dress up, you should dress up. Lucky, I might start lucky. dressing up. I mean, I, why not? Like that could be fun. 
Why not throw on a, a okay. costume? I'm we could do like, like that. We'll come up with something. Uh, Lucky kind of explained for me, actually. He said uh, mine is more abstract um, because I'm talking about these like deep concepts and these possibilities a bit more, or that's my, that, or at least that's what I like to talk about is like stuff that's deeper, but it's more esoteric uh, than most people. I can bring the trident. We could dress up as like Greek gods or something. Look, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna say no or, or yes to anything. I'm not gonna commit. I'm open to ideas. John, we had a good cooking lesson in, in London. I mean, you guys don't know it. It's not like some random like Jungle and I. You know, what I mean, we're friends. We know what's going on here. We we could have definitely coordinated like a Batman, Robin, or Superman and Iron Man. My son loves superheroes, so I got you know I got costumes around. I'll tell you what, I'm not I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid oh. to throw a costume. Oh, let's do. You should do some superheroes. I think you could be. You know what? You might be able to be Captain America. Hey, listen, any superhero I'm good with. I love, uh, who doesn't love a good superhero costume? I, I think uh, there's a lot of options. That would be, you know, my son loves Spider-Man. I, I, any parents out there, that's, that's, that's the, uh, that seems to be the, that's his like default loves that. That's his, that's his go-to. And look at this, Queen Nine going to make the straight on the turn and eight, nine open-ended. Got a, got a, got a interesting Austria on Austria crime here. Someone's going to be winning a good size pot. Let's see if Babs slows down or starts to fire. I mean, definitely it's got a hand, right? It's got, got some equity. It's one of the worst hands you can have nine high. Doesn't have a heart in his hand. Uh, this is in trouble. And by the way, happy birthday, Jeremy from the jungle. Jeremy, happy birthday, brother. Welcome in. It's big. Their birthdays are big. Captain Albania. Yes, I was in Albania last year. That's that's definitely not a country I, not a lot of people have on their their list. I was in Albania. That's super random. Had a great time. That was that was a lot of fun. Really glad I got to go there. Albania, I'd like to go to. You said Albania, right? Yeah. I'd like to go to all the countries at some point. I think I might. You know, there's, yeah. I saw there's a cruise now. It's like a three year cruise for. It's not very expensive. But you hit like 180 countries. Have you seen this? It's like 30k a year you live on a boat and just stop for like 10 days in every country you know what um i was recently pitched something uh involving teaching poker that stops in all the um film festival locations but I have to pay and organize how it work out and all that very interesting and look at this bluffing into the second nut straight not the second nuts the hearts do arrive but i mean still just for that size it's going to be a pretty clear call. I think, I think he actually should shut down on the river. Not having the heart really sucks here. And again, everyone's trying to outplay each other in all these funny spots. But like this bluff is not that plus EV. It's probably not plus EV actually, or like break even. And everyone wants to make these crazy folds pre-flop. I mean, this seems whack to me. Like that doesn't make sense. Like if anything, you should not bluff there bluff less because of the ICM, right? Like, why would you risk, like, some chips in order to run a bluff on someone, but you don't, you're too afraid to um, to peel preflop when it's, like, clearly plus EV. That doesn't make sense. You don't need math for that one. Let's get, yeah, I mean, we need to see Antonio on TV some more. I think that'd be good. Antonio's he's yeah he's 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 great man he's uh he was just on he was a guest a few weeks ago maybe a month now he was just on I haven't he hasn't done a lot of been on doing too much he still plays on on TV some but definitely a lot less no tournaments for him for a while and we are five handed still chat stacks have evened out Pedro having to play from a third place position now he has got about twenty big blinds. And we are we are in a very exciting time in the tournament. It is definitely big money, big jumps, big decisions. And you guys got I just made a hundred. I took the suspense fifty or hundred out. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be a, a hundred giveaway today. What we're gonna do, Jungle? Give away a hundred. I'm actually gonna give away another hundred. I'm gonna give a hundred of my own money on the retweet. I think there's a tweet. I haven't even looked at Twitter. I believe I put it out today on my tweet. So if you retweet right now, 
and announce it at the end of the show as well. So if you're here, you get to see it. Hundred dollar retweet. Jungle's there. It is a. Let me put the pin tweet. I'm gonna make it the pin. Tweet. Wait, wait, wait. You're giving a hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred dollars. Well, hold on. Ace, yeah, Ace Jack, a deuce, eight deuce suited takes a all in nine million. Duco gonna go out. We are gonna go down to four. I'm gonna activate the hundred giveaway in the chat. I'm gonna make a hundred dollar giveaway for the pin tweet. Let me put my. Let me pin it. Let me pin it right now. Pin jungle. Got a picture of jungle there, and I'm gonna drop the link in the chat because. Why not? Let's drop it in. You guys want to tweet this hundred dollar giveaway? I'll, I will pay that out today. We will do that hundred dollar giveaway. Just retweet it. Uh, I'll retweet it for free. I love that. You, you, uh, we're gonna give it at the end of this show. Hundred of my money. Got a hundred as well. I'm gonna activate the giveaway keyword. We got three giveaways. We got a lot of giveaways going on. That's what I love about. The super millions. You never know. Take a hundred. I've heard some crazy run ups and big stories. We got give away a hundred here, and we've got ourselves a. Oh, I'm getting. I got a call from China mainland. That's not every day. Never seen that popping up on my phone. That's uh, kind of weird. Wild. Four left. That's. It's literally says China mainland. That's very curious. Never have I seen that. Uh, we are we are four handed. We have got some. We have got a lot to play for. Pay jumps are big. And let's see, we are, we are, we are wide. It's wide open. I mean, it is literally wide open. Jungle, yeah, get the retweet out, Jungle. I should have done this earlier, maybe when we were earlier in the show, but hey, it's all good. Uh, the keyword, what is the keyword? We're going to do keyword. Uh, let's go, GG. Jungle man. And then your username. So you type in. GG Jungle Man and your username. Queen 10 suited King, six off all in. They are going fast and furious. Wow, what a flop. Action, action. King High in the lead, going to a river. Could see another knockout. It is not going to do it. Babs, both Austrian players still remain in. So there it is. A little bit unfocused. Could, could, could be Paul. So we got jung the keyword. So it's GG Jungle Man. And then enter your GG poker username if you don't have one. If it's in a jurisdiction you can't have one, give it to a friend. I'm sure, you have a friend who plays poker that can't have it. Gift it to them, split it with them, whatever. So everyone is eligible. We got 2,000 plus watching right now. GG, Space Jungle Man, Space, your GG poker username. $100 is going to be given away. And again, on the tweet, we got the retweet for 100 coming out. That's that's on me. That's on me, you guys. We got, got some people listening. Pin Jeff Gross Poker on Twitter. I put the link there. And we have the hands up for the, the the bonus as well. Pedro knows how to play nines. He's not folding nines, that's for sure. Definitely not in this spot. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah, not folding nines here. Uh, I don't like that play, I don't think. I think he's supposed to min raise. Yeah. Nines is just too strong, man. Yeah, I mean, it's ugly if what's his face does something, but uh, oh, man. I've only, it's a classic, it's a classic underdog situation. So money wise, I'm definitely behind, but in terms of potential happiness, EV is way higher if I win. So you actually took the worst of it. Cause I wow. know you don't care about buying that dinner, but. <laughs> but well, nine, four, hold on. Oh, he spikes it. He spikes it nine four queen nine off and he is, you, that is it. We are down to three guys. You got to get the giveaways in because at, at heads up we're gonna stop it, and you gotta you gotta tag someone in the tweet. If you're not following instructions, I can't give the hundred. You gotta tag someone. Gotta retweet it. We only see one person so far that has done. It. Oh no, we've seen we got fourteen retweets, but you know what? I'm just feeling. I'm gonna give away. We're giving away. We might make it. We, we're gonna give stuff away that jungle. That's what we're doing. We got action. We're three handed. Pedro was chip leader. He's got a nice score locked up, and but he is in third place currently. That is currently the situation. He is, we. I mean, Pedro. What you, you said? Thirty percent, right? Was that your guess to win? I think you said thirty. So you know, he's he's got his work cut out for him now. Three handed, in yeah. third place. The time he's not going to win. It's not going to always space win. That's just how it goes. Brazil. Is that Austria, space monkey? Oh, sorry, sorry for interrupting. You're good. Huh? You, I, you got jungle. Who, who, who has impressed you the most today? Maybe they're not still in the in the in the game. Any players stood out for you in their play? Hmm, that's a good question. 
That's a good question. While you think, I will say what's interesting is that Ludo, who was chip leader three-handed, folded nines pre-flop to the 8-5 off shove when he was fairly short. So interesting to just kind of look how that played out. Obviously, right, we just want to make the best play in the moment, right? But it's at, at the moment, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe, yeah, could have lost, right? He, he didn't put his tournament at risk, found good spots, and, and he is chip leader three-handed. So Ludo gonna check with the Jack and Corona Queen Nine. Queen Nine suited has a busted straight draw, blocks Queen King, definitely a bluff candidate. What? Oh, wow. What just happened? All right, well Lou Vidalzi just pulled into the lead with that snap call. Wow. Wow. What a play. I mean, I, I, he's, he's very impressed to me. He's, he's impressed me, to be fair. This has been this has been an impressive, impressive performance for me. That would be my pick. I mean, obviously, he's chip leader. It's easy to say, but he's made some – I think he's played well and picked his spots. He also lost early, I believe. Um, what was it, a hand? There was an all-in. Where I think Kings to A6. It wasn't, it wasn't a huge pot. It was like $2.5 million, though, at the time. You remember where the, the diamond came A6 suited? So that was like – you know, not a huge pop, but it was important at the moment. He didn't win that, so I think he's uh, I think he's played well. Built the stack, hasn't really been at risk. Made some big folds, made some good calls. Sort of shown the complete package to me. At home, if you guys let us know who you think, who do you feel has played well? We got the giveaway running. Got to hit the thumbs up. That is part of it. Thumbs up with the GG Jungle Man and your GG Poker username. Yeah, I will. Raul, ready? I will announce the the giveaway today. I will do that. It'll be, I mean, it's going to be announced on my Twitter at some point today. So, but yes, you can retweet, get in there, comment, $100. And very, very, very intense hands going on. This is, uh, this is anyone's game. Who's your pick? You got to go chips, right? Three-handed, two-to-one lead. Yeah, Corona. Well, I mean, I'd pick Lubowski if it wasn't for if it wasn't for the actual stuff going on. King five, open it up. King eight suited, pretty hand, very pretty hand. King five, king eight suited. And we are going to see a top pair. This could be this could be a this could be a little dicey. I mean, both. It's, uh, it's. I mean, is there any way out? How could you get out of this? You have top pair, king five, king eight suited, three handed, blind on blind. There's just no path, right? Like you're just. And there are some chop out, some chop cards, three six, but it is looking grim for. Pedro here. Yeah, no way out, right? I mean, what, 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 like he's going to need some help. He's going to hit a five, a three, a six. He needs help. He's he's also got top here. He's got to feel good. I mean, he's got to think he has the best hand. And he's going to check it. He's not, he's not, I mean, this is, he's never full in here, right? He's just, this is, is this just check raise? Like we saw him do a check. We saw an interesting check raise earlier. I, I, I just don't, I'm just curious on like in this spot, they're just so short. The SPR, he's got the king. I mean, where, there's nothing he can do. No path out of here. Is there?
It's just is he, you think he's gonna he's gonna check check calls. Wow. Wow, what a run out. That's uh no, that's a card that could save Pedro. That's a card that could save Pedro for sure. The other, if everything breaks, it's far worse of a situation. But this one's weird, too, just because eh, if it was an offsuit three, it'd be really, really ugly. The, the other dude's going to check. Really? Wow. Wow. What? Wait, wait, wait. Did I miss <laughs> something? That's a bet on the flop, right? There was a bet on the flop. They chopped. Wow. I don't know display that was a that was an interesting hand that was a very interesting hand and pedro pedro gonna hang in there i, I mean he was he was on his way out and here he goes a6 top and bottom we will announce the winner at heads up 244 eligible you gotta hit the thumbs up 2200 watching appreciate you guys 10%. We need a little more than that. We need a little more love out here. $100 giving away. 100 on my Twitter as well. Pin tweet. Jeff Gross Poker. Going to give away 100 I will announce that today. We'll send that out. I'll let you choose your e-money, your electronic. We'll send something today, Jungle. We got to send it in. We got to give giveaways, man. Giving away. I, you've done a lot of charity. Like, Would you say is charity like addicting in the sense you, you, you like, it seems like you're doing a lot of random different charities. Like what, what, how would you describe the, the, the feeling of charity and does it have to feel, do you have to feel it to make it count? You know what I mean? Like financially, could you, could you maybe just expand on what you're doing charity wise? And, and again, briefly, don't, I don't want to spend a lot of time. Just tell me your experience with being very charitable at the moment. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than it looks. So there's that there's like kind of, it, it's like also a little bit of introduction to how business works. Um, there's a few things that you have to pay attention to, such as getting your write-offs and things like that. Uh, and I think to make it long-term effective is a bit of a challenge. It makes you think how, at least for me, it makes me think, how do I maximize the good that I'm trying to do? And I mean, that's a really complicated question. And yeah, my thoughts on charity, it's quite complicated. And I think that I'm personally doing it to try to make the world a better place, but it's also, you could say, an effort. It's like an investment into that, right? The whole uh, idea of it is it's an investment into, into like the whole idea of the greater good working out in the long run in addition to, um, yeah, it's basically, it's, it's fundamentally that. I mean, that's what's really good about it. And it's ideal if you do it without some kind of expectation. I can tell you that for sure. That's what's written. Um, and also, um, I do think the spirit of charity on the whole is quite good. The idea of, of offering without giving expectation. Um, does that, does that answer your question? Yeah, it does. No, it's well said. I, it makes a lot of sense. Because I think most people, and charity is super interesting, but you're also, you know, young. Generally, you hear like, oh, spend your first half of your life making money and giving away um, or, you know, something like along that line. So, like, to be younger and really dive deep into it, it's it's interesting. Like, because I, I don't know many people that have spent more time or energy effort, you know, that I know well, like, at, at a, that are not, you know, in their 60s or late 50s or something. To, to start doing that. So yeah, just, it's been, it's cool. I, Cause I know you really do. You put your, you put a lot of time and effort into it so far, but yeah, we'll catch up. That's more of a podcast talk right here. People want to know, they want to watch the action, the money three handed for big money. I just want to point out. And I like just ask you, you, when you get jungle in a, in a space, you gotta, you gotta pick his brain a bit. I like to, I like to hit you with some random questions and, and topics. Cause I, I like to see what's going on, but you know, There's at the a, same time, we're playing a, a we got a magical thing here. This is super millions, five million guaranteed, three handed jungle. We can't, we gotta, we gotta stay the course too. Sorry, I apologize to those at home. I just feel like when we have jungle, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get some questions, and that's all. Sorry. Okay. Um, one thing, uh, there's something else you said. What you said, it works pretty well. Uh, uh, what I, how I think is a bit more complicated, but I want to say one more thing is that to do real, real good on a big level, you need to put in. You need to start uh, emergent systems or scalable 
scalable sort of emergent systems or like movements right. actually that's very difficult yeah just yeah. a thought yeah it's, that makes that's yeah and that's like you said the part of the learning though right that's also maybe now even one of the benefits of doing it at your age younger in theory for like a traditional sort of charitable time energy effort money like you you know to do it later in life too or if you get more into it later you probably have learned a lot and you'll have a much you'll you'll really know what works what doesn't work uh, on like a, a bigger scale as well at some point assuming you do that right i think that that's fair to say that you've learned a lot mm -hmm. big fold there ace nine pedro raised folded we saw like uh, lubo shove four has got ace nine to fold on the button which is pretty interesting hand yeah What do you think of that ace nine fold there? Raise fold off that stack. They've got uh, for 12 big blinds. You know what? That might be right because three handed play is very strange. Yeah, three handed play is quite strange, even though he's quite shallow. There we go. Nines all in. Frustrating one to fold. Jack 10 suited so pretty, but yeah, can't call off Jack high. Um, it might not be just because he has the shorter stack, but if he's any if he's much shorter, he can't fold. I do love, I gotta say, I, I gotta say, I love, I do love, I love YouTube. I love Twitch. I love, I love poker. I love the community. I, I, we have a great, we have a great audience here. Suck. You know, I can't, can't, everyone can't be happy, but I, I, I will say, I feel like there's a lot of, it's nice to see new faces and there's so many consistent viewers each week. It is, it is fun. And I do love it. I think it's, uh, I'd say poker community is, uh, there's no other place I'd rather be. It, it, it's a very interesting, unique and fun fun group I, I, I don't know how you feel about it but i just feel like poker's got a special type of personality that i just yeah uh, yeah i do think it's actually you know thinking about it more it is one of the like the best possible experiences really that's out there for people coming up i mean there's so people in poker speak the truth they pretty authentic they're pretty non-judgmental they're yeah i'm starting to realize that more and more it's a unique skill set. It's a unique poker is unique. It is very unique. It teaches you. It teaches you. It brings life sort of full circle. You get a lot of you get a lot of lessons in a short period of time. One one session at a poker table, you can get a lot of you, you get a lot of variance, a lot of success, a lot of failure. Other people's success, other people's failure. How you handle it, sort of like golf. I, I feel like it's a very similar, most similar metaphor wise sort of life. And in golf, also, you can learn a lot about people and 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 get a lot of. A lot to do with luck and variance in a, in a short period. So, yeah, very interesting. But giveaway, $100, pin Twitter on Jeff Girls Poker, as well as the $100. All you got to do is, once we get heads up, this will stop. But you type in GG space, Jungle Man space, your GG Poker username or friends, if you want to gift it or share it with them. That is your options. I would say poker's about the truth, actually, of, of anything. Uh, yeah, poker's really about the, the truth. If you think about it, it's more about the truth than about lying. You could say it's about both. In fact, hmm. both players interested here. Queen five blocking the five six. Three eight suited as a pair and a flush draw. So Pedro going to check on over. And Ludo starts starts bluffing. And he's got the best hand. He's got a pair, bottom pair. Does he go for the bluff here? He does. Half pot, three eight suited. I think it needs to bet a little bigger.
and he does get called. Pedro going to make the call. Another interesting hand. Size, sizing such a big part of poker. Bet sizing. And a Pedro hanging in was once our chip leader. Actually, the majority of the tournament, he was chip leader. Now finds himself short three-handed. Krona with 25 big blinds in the big blind. And Ludo with ace jack off, considering what to do. Does go with the limp. Krona should be happy to check this back and does outflop his opponents. What do you think that looking back to eight five off to shove and nine folding? What do you looking thinking about it more? What do you think about the fold in the moment? If you had to say, would you what, what you think on that play? Um, say it again. Uh, the nines fold if folding the nines. Do you, like forget you said you would have called the, you know early when the guy shoved eight five Pedro shoved and got nines to fold like eight or nine handed. Oh, you're talking about. Oh, I'm surprised you're still talking about that one. Yeah, that's what I'm surprised. That's like a thing I do sometimes. Or was did someone bring it up? Yeah, someone asked in the chat here. Uh, let's see who asked that. It was Ryan Gleadow asked about that. That nines. Um, I think you should probably call, but I I really am curious to see. I think shorthand on the full table, the ICM is not super. Well, it's, it's definitely relevant, but it's, you know, nine players. It's not super strong. I, if I had to guess, it's a call. I mean, after seeing the cards, obviously it's a call. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Jack Deuce, threes, going to limp and likely just get a shove here. Yeah, he's got, what, 15, a little less, little less 20 blinds there. Does shove and Pedro gonna be pulled in. Scott's pretty good. This big game's pretty good actually. Corona with one of the worst hands here. You do you see often the, the raise, the, the, the best and the worst hands to raise on the the limp. There is one of those situations. Nicely done. Blind on blind, such a popular part of the game. So many situations. That's a one area to look and try to improve because a lot of that happens, especially shorthanded. And here we go. Ace 10 suited, queen eight suited. Pretty easy jam for Pedro. A little frustrating if you're Lubo here, right? You got a you got a nice playable hand on the button, but get jammed on. Don't want to call off. I'm not a hundred percent. Not super strong for sure. It can be. I mean, I remember that you really have to think about the stack sizes because I think if there's two shorties, I can see it being the right fold. I just I think it's worth taking mm -hmm. a look at the math. Yes, I'm going to be playing golf on again. I'm taking him down. Someone has to do it. Someone has to do it. He's never faced a jungle man before. He's never faced. He's never had a real arch nemesis. <laughs> the Falcons, I remember that. Where, where does that stand? Where's your lifetime with golf on matchup? I think he's one overall. I don't know. He might have played mixed. He's one at PLO. I can tell you that. What do you think about five card PLO or big, you know, big O, the high low, big O and these high low and four card. What, what's your, what's your order in the PLO streets? What, which games do you prefer? Um, I am, I am, <laughs> what do you mean of, of, of all the PLO games? Yeah. Like do you play five card PLO? Do you play six card high low? Do you like how, how, how saucy spicy do you get with these other games in PLO? I get pretty spicy in a couple of those games. Those games are weird, dude. <laughs> weird, weird games are for weird players. I mean, uh, yeah, that's true. The weirder the games, the weirder the players. That's kind of true, isn't yeah, it? That's, I've like... that. never heard that. I've never heard that said. <laughs> you got it. That's true. Yeah. How's that not true? Like, if you're playing some, like, 
really esoteric game. You got to be pretty weird. I, that's, I mean, that's interesting. I've never heard it put that way. And here we go. AC, we saw, we saw a river there. Ludo now 40 mil. I actually, I never played, I played like Badesi, Badugi. Well, Badugi, I know it's not that crazy of a game, but like Badesi and some other variations of it, I played once. It was at a, lot, a cash game. Um, it, was, it was pretty fun. Uh, you, you play, that's one of the, what, there's like, how many games are spread now in Bobby's room? In the, it, uh, are in the Bobby's room. There's some huge, like a ton of games, right? Like 12 games or 15 games sometimes in the mix. There's there's eleven games in the mix. 11. Yeah. Oh, queen nine. Twelve blinds. Gonna shove, and this is interesting because Ludo, who actually now is flipping to make this, this would be a three-way tie if queen nine can take this. They would essentially be three-way tied if fives hold. Wow, just like that, we are jungle. Might have to cancel Milos. Later, we've got a three-way time. If you got a, if you got plans, this could go. This is the one of the ways. This is why I love it. This looked like it was going to be so fast, and now here we go. Still twenty-five lines only, but three-way, no deals available. That's what you got to love about the GG Super Millions. They make you play for the title, for the glory. No deal making available. Big jumps between third and first here. You can see the pay jumps on your lower right. And we still got the giveaway going. I will stop it once we get heads up. And it's going to be a hundred dollars. And there is a thumbs up plus GG space jungle space your GG poker username and my Twitter Jeff Gross Poker pin tweet. It is there for a hundred. So a couple hundred dollar giveaways going on today. Jasper, we will check. Look, we do a lot of giveaways. I, I, I actually believe, I don't I mean, don't quote me, but I, I've given away between, between like tickets or from sites to my own money, some insane amount on streams and podcasts. So like, if you didn't get a giveaway, it's possible, possible, but there also are imposters. That's the one thing I'd be careful. Got to do it quick and get it sorted. Cause there are people who impersonate and try to uh, to, 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 to make fake names and stuff. So, uh, but if you really won, there's a good chance if it's a, if your GG username, it will get put in your account. As we see ace eight, ace Jack, a lot of money in the middle and Pedro, Pedro does not have a winning hand. I'm a little surprised he didn't bluff, but that seems kind of good. What do you mean? There are imposters. Like they'll make a fake name or they make a new GG uh, a, a YouTube name when they win or something or whatever. There's there's some different who knows. John, you know someone hacked your tell like there's different stuff. People are out there shaking and baking trying to circumvent things. So people I are definitely like, shaking yeah. and baking, man. People are definitely shaking and baking. <laughs> shake and bake. It's a real thing, man. You gotta keep on your toes out here. But most yeah, there's some shake and bakes. Like let me let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Jack five four five. So yeah, we'll we'll check in. I just sent a note, making notes over here, guys. We're making notes, checking out what happened. Hopefully that is. Hopefully it just means it's coming. But there are some backups, delays. You know, different processes have to get done to get it over, get handled, and that's out of my hands. So I will follow up for you, my friend. I hope hope you did win. Hope you get to play. And that is a. It's fun to give away stuff. I want to hear the stories. I want to hear. I want to hear the magic. I want to hear the runs. The the hundred to to hundred k, all the all the good stuff, you know. Good luck out there. Gamble responsibly, and we are going to play to a winner again. We are still three handed. Corona, Lubo, paid it. What? Are, how is our dinner bet looking? The audience is getting a hundred no matter what. I just gave that, but um. Well, if you win from this point, then you'll be uh you'll be. You'll be what is it? You'll be happier, um, but you'll. Uh, this is kind of bluff, oh, man. I, I need spicier players. Is the problem? I think Duke. Duke 
spicy. That's part of the problem. Pedro's pretty spicy. He's he's just got he's all of a sudden sort of found himself in the middle of the of the of the pack or the shorter, you know, short shortish middle. Here's three handed. He's he's spice. He's put some spice on for you, John. There's there's been some spicy plays. We're, I'm sorry, our dinner bet. Who has who? I I, I actually I comp- this is like I I've lost track. John, you might pick me off here. I you tell- I have Pedro. I know that. You have anyone? You have Corona? Um I think yeah, I, I think you do. you do. It's Corona against against the, the Legion. Corona against the world. Wow. Where's what country is that? Switzerland? That is Ukraine or which one? Which one are you talking about? Corona? Yeah. That's Austria. Come on, Jungle. You're a well-traveled European. You've done all the countries. You don't know the Austrian flag? One of the strongest poker countries we've ever seen. Ooh, eight four eight five. And I mean, this is this has got to be a candidate for a bluff catching hand, right? It's three-handed, ace high, doesn't have a club. Queens paired. Oh, actually, well, okay, it's the eight, so it's a, just a, yeah, I mean, oof. Definitely a candidate. Definitely a candidate to hero. I, I, do see, I do see a lot of good decision-making and doesn't stew too long. And Pedro finds himself back, 25 million, very healthy. Dan Exotic, a, a zoo Dan keeper. Exotic. Wow. You know what's funny? We did something with animals, but I'm thinking it'd be really funny to do something with animals. I just don't know. I just don't know um, what to do with them. Hmm. Well, one thing I want to do uh, at some point is like wrestle an alligator. I think that'd be good for content. <laughs> that sounds high variance, man. I don't know. Let, let's discuss that. Uh, we, need to, <laughs> we, need to, we need to review that one. I, I, I have to. I don't, I don't sign off on that. I think that's uh, that's a little much. There's, but a, I, there's a place that trains you to do that in Colorado. Do you sign on off, it, off on it now? No, actually, I think this is, and honestly, in these spots, you know who knows best on this? You know who will tell you? Who? They give, I mean, it's going to be honest feedback in the, the audience. Let's ask them, one, for alligator wrestle. If you think jungle should should wrestle an alligator too, if better not, let's see what they say. I I, I got a feeling I know what they're going to oh, say. Okay. I think it I might be lopsided. Know. I think it might be one. It might just be all one number actually. But let's see, let's see. That's where you find out true friends in, in YouTube. There might be a few friends in there that that they drop uh, what we see. Let's let's do an experiment. Let's see, let's see what happens. And once the delay kicks in here, we're going to see a lot of numbers on the screen. Oh, they're coming in. And. We see there's, a, there's an, okay. Yeah. I think it might just be a lot of one, one number, but seven, three value betting King Jack thinking about calling. Oh, a couple. All right. Should we do a poll? Why don't you do a Twitter poll and make it? Wow. King Jack. Hello, Dan. King Jack ripped it. Whoa. That's spice. Shit. I, re- I really want Pedro now. I mean, I don't think this man's calling. Pretty sick, sick play. But King Jack, I mean, he actually actually beats. Uh... Do you think he calls? Interesting spot. No, I don't. 7-3. I mean, it's either... I- how do, we find, how do we find out if if I should wrestle the alligator or not? <laughs> I want to do it. I really do. I can't justify it right now. <sighs> Does fold. Jungle mouse. All right. Well, we got we got we got our answer. We got people. We have we have we have the YouTube chat. They they usually you know, look at this. Ace three, ace queen. Pedro has his man behind. He's got him in a world of hurt, and that is gonna seal it. There is a chop possibility, but that is gonna he cannot lose the hand. He is not gonna chop. He is gonna knock out Pedro. 
I think we locked up a nice Vegas dinner or Miami, and we have got the audience going to get 100. The giveaway, I will let it. Once we hit 300 thumbs up, I'm going to announce the winner. So once we hit 300, I will do that. And let me just get the – let me make sure I get this done. And I will announce a winner. And – we will announce it here once we hit 300 thumbs up. And we are heads up. Plan for a lot of money. 1.1 million. It's not, it's not every day you get a seven-figure score online. That is not easy to do. And we are going to see it today. We're going to see it. Episode 6, season 2023. 5 million guaranteed. Super millions. Jungle Man as your guest. What else do you guys want? If you're not hitting the thumbs up today, I'm not even going to ask you in the future. I'm not even going to ask anyone. If, you, if you're if you not hitting it today and you don't like this show, I mean, the only thing that could have been more electric is a costume from Jungle. But other than that, we kind of got everything going. And look at this, 9-7, 32 million, 45 million, close to call, Brazil, Ukraine, two great countries. Someone's going to be extra happy, both with a huge score. Big congrats to both players. Let's see who finishes it off. There's a look at their profiles. Pedro, very experienced. On GG, number 34 in the Super Millions, actually, 2022. We'll take a look at the players' overall results. And we have one of them. We have four final tables in Season 2 for Pedro. Already has one in Season 3, which is 2023, of Super Millions. And Lubo has got a not nothing on Season 3 and three caches in Season 2. So... Pedro, got to give him the nod and experience, but he is out chipped right now. He is out chipped, 10 4. Out of time bank. Interesting to note, he just hit zeros as well. The chess clock, 15, 15 minutes is no longer available for pedro who is going to be at a deficit a little bit of a disadvantage there of course with only five seconds before having to act on his hand and we are going to play to a winner here heads up underway would you say you're surprised how little time and effort people put in a heads up considering if you're a tournament player how much money it's worth would you say that's like something like that people should spend more time on working on, but yeah. Um, not really, to be honest, because eh, maybe actually, you know what? The one thing I've discovered is that the more you play different kinds of games, the more you see. So it may have hinted. There's a lot of hidden benefits to things that are in the periphery. You could say, it's a lot of hidden benefits to doing lots of things. Makes sense. I think uh, some kind of effort should be applied, but not a huge amount. Three, six, two, five, about the worst hands you can have here. And again, time deficit. We just typed in the winner there. Geld Meister 2.0. You just won hundred. Congrats. Good luck to you with that coming to your GG poker account. We'll get that over to you. Thank you for everyone who participated in that. The Twitter is still live for hundred dollars. I will have that drawn today and I will PM you. If you're following me, I can PM you. And we will get you a hundred. Two hundred dollars given away. That seems like an honest day's work. It's nice. We'll give give some give some money out, and we'll see who's going to finish this off with the title today. Brazil, Ukraine, very even. Thirty four million, forty two million. So for really anyone's game at the moment. I gotta go Brazil. I mean, I th so that's it, right? I won the I won the dinner. Is, it, is there anything else to do? No, there's that. That's it. You don't have Ludo. I'm pretty sure I do have him. Not exciting. 
I didn't think about this possibility. It's only exciting if you win, that's the thing. I'm Confucius? Why am I Confucius? Winnings from the show. Yeah, payout's lower right. You can see. Guaranteed. Guaranteed big money here. And Pedro with the 9-5 suit is going to call. We'll see a flop. Jack 6. Both players miss. Jack high in the lead. And a board... Jack six nine five. Look at this. Look at that clock. It's intense. One second check. There's the jack. Picks up the gut shot. Seven million in the middle. Thirty million, forty million behind. Important. Every pot's important, man. This is for a title. This is for the super millions. Five mil guarantee. Got well over that. Over fifty percent more in the prize pool than that. I'm not watching Netflix. I'm watching you guys. You guys don't like to be watched. <laughs> I will See, say this audience is different, huh? It's a great, it's a great group. I really do. I, there's a lot, a lot of familiar faces, but this is fun to do every week. I do appreciate. I want to thank. Make sure we thank Jungle Man taking the time today. I know we were, we've been trying to schedule this for a while. You actually reached out. That's what I'm saying. Super millions. I have. That's the best part about this. Like I have people asking to come on and do the show. It's not like, oh, hey, can you come on? People are like, they like doing it. So you even reached out. I think it was around the Antonio show. Or like, hey, let's do it. Coming up, and you've okay. done it before. So we appreciate the time very much. It's very nice of you. I know you're a busy man to come on and do commentary. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all the love. Appreciate it. Um, what was I going to say? Well, right now, I'm also, my mind is a little bit blown. So I, it's harder for me to focus on some things. Um, yeah, it had like a couple revelations of sorts. So a bit of a weird situation. <laughs> Weirder than usual. So it's harder for me to focus on like the simple things. It makes sense, but it's hard to understand. There it is. Why we, break. It. we are gonna gonna skip ahead. There's look at the payout: seven hundred five thousand for third, nine thirteen guaranteed. Playing for that one million one hundred eighty four thousand. So very big jump still to play for. I mean, what we got two hundred and seventy k. I mean, that's a that's a nice nice Maserati on the line and the title, the trophy, the glory. The, the super rankings, leaderboard, points, everything. There's a lot to play for right now. And it is it is still close. Anyone's game. Pedro right now out. Kick. Look at the queen five, the class. Ludo showing us the big, big, small gapper. Just takes it on up. Checking the temperature. Fucking right Playing there. Well. He just said, fuck you. That's what he said. I think jungle brings a little extra spice to the, to the players whenever. You, that's your word. That is, I think I have you saved in my phone as, as jungle spice. <laughs> that's, that's 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 your that's my nickname for jungle right there we're having fun everyone's having a good time and king jack pedro trying to get himself back into the game as we said very impressive resume over there look at look at his gg earnings and in the super millions last year one million i believe is that one million two hundred seventy thousand. i think i think that's how i'm reading that it's a little bit small on my screen but either way very experienced got over seven and a half million earnings on gg poker alone one of the revelations was something like it was something like um i have to think of what it was it's, it's just let's put it like this it's, it would be like you'd have to look at things from a different way you just see things from a different angle sort of thing It allows, allows seeing things from a different angle. That's what the revelations are about. So keep shifting your angles. It's like... John, we're going deep on us here. We got a big hand right now though with not a lot of time bank. Gonna lead out the nine. In trouble. Board pairs with the deuce. He leads the turn. Some we see 
common out of position player on a, on a board pair turn, but Ludo just calls scary card, important card, and actually does shift. Actually, not only is it a scary card, but Jack does hit Pedro, who now has a winning hand. And I don't know how he checks there. It's a whack check. He's got a bet for sure. Yeah, that, that there he's got a really. I just don't know what he's hoping for. I'm not on drugs. I, I barely take drugs. <laughs> I, I really do. I'm just um, to, it's an absurd question. It's just funny. It's, I, I, these guys are. Uh, they like I, the they like the weird stuff apparently. Or some of it. Some of them do. Um, okay, I'll give you guys this answer. R read more into yoga and think about it a lot. Then you'll see what I'm starting to think about. Because yoga is far deeper than just the, med the, the exercises. That's like a soft transition. How, how often are you meditating or doing yoga, uh, these type of things? Are you, are, you, are you that part of your daily practice right now? Meditating pretty often. Um, I do some Kriya Yoga, which I should do more, actually. I missed yesterday. I just find it really hard to, like, get it in on the time for a couple of reasons. Yeah, I find it hard to get, get it in for time. You could say. Well, you know, even as you said that, I realized something. That won't make any sense at all if I say it. But uh, it would just be about priorities, you could say, is one way of looking at it. But um... Ooh, this kid's got potential for a big pot here. My dad always says that to me. He always says there's always time for what's important. You know, it's easy to feel busy, stressed out. Mm -hmm. But there is time. A shout out to Berlin Brum Brumley. Oh, I mean, he shout out to me. Interesting spot. Nines, ace, deuce, two overs. Scary, but hard to make a pair. Nines still in the lead, and we do see a check. Also, this board just got worse for nines. If you think you're good. You do have a spade, though. Spade. Checks. Ludo, ace high, thinking. You want to take a shot? Try to fold some mid pairs. Doesn't doesn't bet, and the ace arrives. I mean, that's hard. That's a that's a pretty ugly looking board for pocket nines. And Ludo, eight point seven in the middle. Goes for the value bet here. What do you think on the sizing? The whole thing? Give me an analysis on this river. Pretty interesting board. I don't know about this bet. Yeah. Wow. wow. I don't know about this bet either. <laughs> I don't know about this play. I mean, is this the hand? This has got to be the hand of the day. We've had a couple interesting hands. He's getting, I think he, uh, it's got some overconfidence going on, but it's it's usually in the right direction, I think, in these sort of situations because it's a bit of a up and comer. Yeah, I would say overconfidence is good in these sorts of situations. That was quite a hand, and we are we are all tied up here, essentially tied up, especially here. Jack three off, no player makes a pair, likely. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Queen six. I thought I was going to say likely going to be dead even, but as it turns out, that is not the case. Jack three betting into the queen here and now certainly will not be winning the pot. Here, actually, guys, I have um, an example of a revelation. Have you guys ever watched one of those Kung Fu movies where the teacher tells them to do something really basic like uh, like wash dishes or something stupid like that? Or should, uh, is it too deep, you think? You think, uh, Jeff? 
As a, listen, the YouTube audience can go deep. I'll tell you what, they can they can handle it. They can definitely handle it. But yeah, uh, we, we are heads up. We're heads up for a title. We're heads up right, for a I'll go back. title. I'll... Before we go philosophy, oh, no, all right, all right. Never mind. I'll focus on this. Yeah. One second. Queen King, two four. Pedro, Pedro's in. I, I mean, I'm still looking. I got the dinner bet locked up. The audience, the giveaway's been awarded for the hundred. We got the Twitter hundred still pending. That is a pin tweet live. That is a live giveaway. And then here, the, I, I gotta go, Pedro. I'm rooting for Pedro. Although, man, what a what a moment. What a huge score for Lugo here, who's got one million total in earnings. Could actually have more. His lifetime earnings on GG right now, if you were to take this down, he would he would have more than he's had previously. Either way, huge score. And these guys got a lot to play for. Very prestigious Super Million. 776 entries being commentated by Dan Jungleman Cates as well. Production, Super Million 2023. Exciting. It's exciting to be heads up, but man, the title. Who, of course, got to want the title. Shall I finish my Kung Fu thought? It seems like a couple people yes. in the audience. On it. Yes. All right. Please. So here's how. It, here's it. You don't know what it. Uh, it's it, the lesson behind that is you don't know why uh, to do things in the beginning, but it's also to see kind of a grander way in which certain things are important to play out and to be able to to even have this epiphany in the first place. You need to not know certain things in, in the first place, and it's to. Um, it's also to teach certain virtues, right? You teach, he's wow. teaching nice, the nice humility. Sorry, sorry, Ludo. King Deuce gets two pair, does call. Pedro goes for a nice bluff candidate there, right? He's got the club, straight blockers, does go for a bluff and goes into it. We're getting close to a BR. So finish your thought, because this could be over very soon. Finish it. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but that was a big hand, pivotal hand. Yeah, so the person has someone, uh, teaches these lessons to... Time out jungle another timeout. this could be for the title and it's looking that way because we just see yeah. uh it's it it's over we get just we're gonna get the kung fu thought we're gonna have to go post game on this one because that is it pedro will be your second place finisher the winner the champion killing from ukraine he has got it done he hits the set of fours there it is lubovetsky if i pronounce that right congrats i apologize if i did not pronounce it right but you got the money you got the title you got the super ranking points and we have had ourselves an epic legendary day what a final table a lot of fun appreciate the time and finish your thought let's close on your kung fu thought but but summarize it quickly because i know everyone's got a busy busy day and they've spent a lot of time let's say but finish the, the thought good way to end it the thought is that the the teacher teaches, tells someone something simple that seems not so useful, such as washing dishes, right? But in actuality, it's useful to teach a virtue which needs to be worked on for a very large amount of time. So they're teaching multiple things at once. They're teaching the virtue, which um, is a very hard thing to shift. It's very hard for someone to learn a virtue on a grand scale of life and of martial arts such as like patience or trust things like that very hard to learn this habit but while they're teaching this they're also teaching skills that will be useful in the future so it's multiple lessons all at once through these actions and if you remember the result of the movie the person ultimately was able to uh through his practice of washing the dishes he was able to move more effectively for kung fu that's beautiful. And I, I think that's a great metaphor, analogy, however you want to say it for poker. A lot of lessons come in a short period. You learn a lot fast with all the, the, the success, failure, adversity, variance, etc. And on that note, I will leave you. That is season 2023, episode six in the books. Jeff Gross, Dan Jungleman Kate, the man, the myth. We appreciate the time. Costume next time. We'll see you guys next week on the Super Millions. Thank you so much. All right. That was a pretty good addendum. I wasn't expecting that. See you guys. All right, beautiful. That was special.